Welcome to Tiefling Tots, a lawful stupid RPG one shot. I am your DM, Carl, and uh, here are all our players. I won't uh, tell you all their names, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, if you're new to Lawful Stupid RPG, please be sure to subscribe. We have plenty of games, including one on Saturday. Uh, who's in that one? That's Hemlora. Well, anybody want to just... What's the time on Saturday? So they can tune into that. Yes. 7 p.m., yep. 7 p.m. EST, and we got one on a Tuesday? Thursdays. Thursday, that's right, yeah. Sorry, Thursday, Thursday that is Eroth. And uh, uh, Grendy, you're in that, right? Yes. Yeah, and Thursday. what time is that? That is, uh, I believe, around <laughs> 2 o'clock EST. Okay, two there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and nice. 7 p.m. GMT. There you go. There we go. Yeah, no, time conversions. I'm asking people to do it on the spot. Math is hard, people. Keep that in mind. Math is hard. Uh, We're yeah. only toddlers. And, of course, in this time slot in future weeks, when you don't have this one shot, there is Pantheon, a game which a few of us are in. That uh, is at 6.30 EST every Friday night. Yeah, but without further ado, let's get into Tiefling Tots, this one shot. Let me just explain what's going on here. We've got six different tieflings here that are ages three to five, and they've just been transferred to a new orphanage or have just come into an orphanage for the first time. Um, they are not about to be adopted. They're a little bit of the odd ones out. Uh, they're going to have some uh, obstacles to overcome. And as babies, they're not going to get to roll D20s on anything. They're going to have to roll D10s. So uh, this is going to be a fun one shot. We'll see what happens. Um, before we get started, I'd also just like to thank uh, Ben Sound um, for providing the music for tonight. And I also might end up using some music from the YouTube uh, royalty-free audio library. But we'll, we'll see when we get to that. Um, but without further ado, let's get started in Tiefling Tots. Set the stage. We begin in Athkatla, a city in the country of Am. And this is about 50 years before the time of troubles, before Asmodeus, the king of devils, rose to godhood. Thus, tiefling appearances can vary and uh, be any color. <clears throat> but we begin specifically in the orphanage of Ilmater, the god of mercy where six different tieflings have just been transferred to after maybe having some difficulties in their home or their other orphanage. Alas, only the uh, orphanage of Ilmater is left to sponsor and host these, these tieflings. So uh, you six begin in the common room in this orphanage and, the, uh, and uh, you're approached by one of the white uh, blank skinned giants that uh, roam the area, you know. You've heard them called adults before. Uh, that's what they're called. So she approaches you and, and she says, and you can tell she's a she because of the, the milk makers that she has. Otherwise, it's kind of hard to tell, you know. They all have the same color skin and whatnot. So, yeah, she approaches you and she says, <clears throat> which ones of you are from the other orphanage and which ones of you are new? Uh, you first. Uh, and she points to you, Lance. Uh, yeah, I'm... My parents are going to pick me up. I, this is a short-term thing. Don't... So you don't need to include me in anything else. That's okay, child. We'll... We'll get along. And and you... And she points to you, uh... uh Isabella. Isabelle. <laughs> Hi. I am new... <laughs> Uh, which orphanage did you come from? It was very big. It was quite far away, though. Yes. Okay. And you, pointing to Hobby. Yes, I came from the other orphanage. Okay, so two of you are from other orphanage and one is from out. Uh, you, and she uh, now pointing to Pickle. <clears throat> Oh, uh, 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 yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh, yo, so, uh, I, uh, yeah, with, uh, her, uh, uh, is, is he? <laughs> yes, okay, and, uh, are you pointing to Clover? Uh, I don't, I don't exactly know where I was before I was here, but I was somewhere, and now I'm here. And it's different, and everything's new, so. <laughs> That's good to know. 
Yes. Okay. And maybe we'll. Okay. Uh, the last one. Yes. You. Are you going to hurt me? So we're getting very little information, but that's okay. Let's get adjusted. Um, mm. Right now is recess, so that's good news. Uh, do you like to play outside, any of you? Um, excuse me, I have a complaint. Um, she's she's standing where my friend is standing. Um, she's invading his personal who, space. Who is standing where? Um, uh, Clover, she is standing um, where my friend Strong is. He's with, in your, a, with your friend? Uh, who, where is, who is Strong? Is, is there a seventh of you? He's, yes, he's an invisible dragon. He's my best friend. <gasps> oh, a invisible dragon. Yes. yes. Okay. Some relation, maybe. Okay. Yes. Um, I, I think I'm allergic to dragons, Hobby. So please don't uh, let the dragon come near me. Can, right, I can, we, it? can we move this along? Uh, I've got a tea time to make, and we're not we're not getting any closer to it. What's a tea time? It's. Well, we will have sure. some water that um, I've heard it called tea later. Um, <laughs> so have yes, you? if I you all really have you got I... your, have you got uh, your inhaler pickle? Uh, oh yeah, right. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, <sighs> thank you. That's a strange thank name you. for for a bag, but okay, yes. Um, <clears throat> yes, um, if you would all like to make your way outside and please don't hurt any of the other children. I know they look different, but you'll all be friends very soon, I, I promise. And may Ilmater watch over you, and, and if you're good, I'll give you one of Ilmater's symbols. Yes, I, I have several of them, and, and she'll show you these, li these little circle with, with the Church of Ilmater's symbol. Um, Ooh. they... Don't look anything special, nothing shiny. They're made of wood, so. <laughs> How do you play with it? You, well, uh, you pray to it, but we'll, we'll learn that later. What does it taste like? It, mm, um, you won't get one for a while. Uh, let's all go outside. If you need me, uh, I am Principal Mary. I'm in charge here. And outside, we have somebody in attendance. Uh, that is uh, Anna. So uh, you can say hi to Anna outside if you'd like. Uh, but with, And with that, she'll open up the back door and let you out. But go along now. Go and play. But as they, as they exit, I'd like to be the last one and I'd like to get the principal's attention. Sure. Yeah, so you each exit, kind of making eyes at the principal as you do into the, uh, to the jungle that is the... Uh, playground without any you know playground set stuff it's just a, a yard it's a with a wall. Top. yep it's a well the black top would be generous uh there is no concrete or anything but yeah uh, it's dirt but you know and uh lance uh, as you're exiting you turn to her and yeah i'm I, I don't know if you'd be the person to go to for this but uh my my blood sugar is like super low right now and uh, uh i i feel like I, I i could use a little like pick me up or something because it's, it's been a real long day and i haven't i haven't had anything so if you know anybody that might no you're not there. i would like for you to make a persuasion check so go ahead and roll a d10 and add your charisma <laughs> Oof. uh it's a five five well, if you're good, um, uh, good. <laughs> Rachel is the cook, and she uh, has access to chocolate, but you have to be good. So I can be, be nice good. to other people. Can I you will do be that? The best. Yes, I will be the very best. Okay, and make sure the other devil children don't hurt anyone. Okay? You don't need to push me. You don't need to push. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> and with that, yeah, she'll push you outside. So, yeah, you guys enter into the vast swath of children. And we'll cr real quick, you're going to get a lot of eyes on you immediately. Can you describe what the other children are seeing, what the appearance of each of you is? And we'll start with you, Lance. Yeah, so uh, Lance is a, um, is a green-skinned, blonde-haired tiefling. Uh, he is um, – he his back is straight and his chin up. And he is giving everybody the look as if they are quite beneath him. And 
it, it, it is, it's not for, uh, not for lack of reason because he has some of the finest airs and way of speaking. And he also carries around a small wooden club that looks like a golf club. Hmm. Okay. And pickle, could you describe your character? <laughs> Uh, yes. So uh, Pickle is a little uh, chubby, horned, red, devil-looking thing, and he's got glasses that are broken in the middle, and uh, he's constantly reaching out with one hand to hold Izzy Bell's hand, and the other hand, he has a big clump of Play-Doh that he's kind of fiddling with, <laughs> looking furtively to everyone else. Uh, that's what he does. Um, and with that, well, can we describe Hobby? Hobby is... Uh... A little tall as a kid. Um, he's orange skinned. Uh, his head looks a little bit like a potato. Um, he has a piercing gaze as he as he looks out over the whole playground, and uh, he looks like he might be up to something. Okay, and Isabel, what does your character look like? Uh, Isabel is a very small tiefling um, with growing sort of ram horns. One hand holding Pickle's hand, the other hand holding her little plush bear uh, hand, which almost seems to be walking on its own. It's like back legs are kind of moving as she's carrying it around. Um, she's got pale gray skin, um, these very light gray eyes with almost tribal-esque markings um, on her face. Um, very, very cute, very cute, small. Mm -hmm. And Clover... What do people see when they look at you? So Clover has long black hair that is purple down at the tips. And she has these horns that um, are striped. And one of them has a crack in it. And uh, she is um, carrying around her teddy bear and has uh, purple skin. And on one of her horns also, she has a ribbon tied around it that looks Kind of like it used to be nice, but it's not nice anymore because she's had it for a long time. Okay, and last of all, John. What does everybody see when they look at you? <laughs> so John <laughs> is uh, a uh, very, very dark-skinned tiefling, almost pure black. Uh, his eyes are, are red, uh, has uh, sort of reddish black horns that come out of the top of his head uh, and stick straight up. His clothes are very, very, very plain. Um, if they could be, if they could be less, they they would be. Uh, they are. They look like somebody just threw a shirt or something they had in a drawer on him and sent him on his way. Yeah, and he's kind of just sort of standing there, uh, looking around at all the other children, wondering what to do. Yeah, and as you look across the uh, what could be called a playground, if it had any instruments to play with. Um, you can immediately begin to ma make, out, uh, make out a hierarchy within the children. There's always one that takes the dominant role with these kids, and he happens to be standing on the corner of a etched in square in the dirt, and they're passing around, they're kicking around a ball. There seems to be a line in one of the corners, and, but he seems to be the one taking charge, and he'll order people around. One of the, one of the girls next to him maybe uses girlfriend she kind of fawns on him um but yeah other than the square and the line that leads up to it um everybody else seems to be outcasts from this society and they're doing their own little thing in their corners uh Ithia Bell, I've been doing some calculations, some minor ones as we walked outside, and I, I can't help but think that perhaps with the density of children here, that um we might be the uh bottom of the prescribed totem pole. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about this. Yes, I do believe we are outnumbered. Let me quickly um go get my notepad and make a note of this. Okay, don't let go of my hand though. Oh I uh, uh could 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 you hold uh fuzzy for me? Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Look, you know how it is in these places. You got to make somebody your bitch on the first day. What the fuck? Listen, listen. Uh, I know what it's like to be king of the sandbox. Uh, I, I was first in my class, summa cum laude, of potty training. And uh, it, it's not just a... Stop talking. No one really cares what... I don't summa cum... I don't know what those words mean. Try but that one boring. again. Try that one again. Oh, well, try what one again? What word did you just say? S su summa. Summa cum laude. S 
costume. Okay, so she's immediately disqualified from being king of this. Well, don't talk to me like that. I'll kind of get Oh my God. Lance, right. I understand you are wearing big boy pants, but I think that at the moment, instead of trying to reign as a king, we need to band together. We are definitely outnumbered here, as my friend Pickle says. She likes to rip his hand. Is there a source of water around here? And you'll look around, and it doesn't seem like there is one in, the, in this area. <laughs> if an alliance we must make, then I'm okay with that we can sign the appropriate documents we can make sure that everything's above board uh and then when it comes to it if we need to dissolve this alliance then we can deal with it then uh until then so they call that pale... a consideration yes yes uh and i will take that into consideration but i am nervous about these non-horned things what are they 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 all kind of look uh not like us they all look kind and of Lance sweet. and Lance, you've seen the adults before, but you haven't seen people your height that look quite like like the adults, the pale skinned creatures. Uh, it's a little unnerving. I think where's they have the, uh, where, where's the kid with the girl phoning over him? He's he's on the one of the corners of the square on the opposite okay. corner that the line is. Perhaps we should send an ambassador to try to make peace with these creatures. Uh, I dominate uh, the big wood hobby. <laughs> yes, I uh, do agree with that consider that uh, that idea. Although I will warn you, hobby, that they are appearing to be beating up that spherical shaped object on the ground. You might want to be careful. And with that, as animals. you say that, Isabel, Isabel, uh, the the ball goes whizzing past the one that's in control of the hierarchy on the corner and just past you guys. Um, if anybody wants to make a dexterity check, the difficulty is 11 for one of you to catch it. <laughs> Can I? It's difficult. <laughs> Died. I'm gonna Come on. I'm... <laughs> I, I might have done it. <laughs> oh. I might have done it as well. Hold on. Yep, I fall over. When, okay, when I see no, the ball I, coming at me, I just, I just barely rolled an 11. <laughs> I got an 11. <laughs> you got an 11. Okay, so showing just surprising dexterity for a toddler. Clover, you see the ball coming and you anticipate it, and your hand shoots up. Oh, what? Oh, the, the one in charge of the hierarchy now looks towards you. You said, watch your face, I say to Lance. Uh, I, I wasn't ready, and I'm better with lacrosse stick. I don't have it on me. I kind of make eye contact with like the the big kid you said that was like the hierarchy dude yep and he he's just staring you guys down he makes no move to approach right now I kick the ball it's my ball now you kick the ball to where I no I take it it's mine I take it it's yours okay and with that his eyes kind of go wide and he gives you the Clover, kind of Clover, be careful here. Uh, I believe that you have purloined the sacred object of this fellow. What's he going to do about it? He can't do anything to me. Oh, Clover, you are so brave. <sighs> Didn't they say there was a a woman watching Anna? We could always tell. He can't do anything if we're going to tell on him. Oh, well, nobody likes a tattletale. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's going to here? Tattletale. No tattletale. No tattletales. All of you, no tattletales, okay? Yeah, we can no tattletales. Him. No tattletales. Why don't you talk to him then, pretty boy? I I would, but he seems um, uncouth. I, I wouldn't lower myself to, to, to do such a thing. And as you're all avoiding eye contact, the figure begins to make his way towards you, and he's already about halfway at this point. I'm going to ray across his feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead and make an attack roll. <laughs> Still make, using a D10, of course. All right, you did Adding that. your charisma modifier. I'm going to freeze yeah. that bitch. <laughs> that is an eight. As soon as conflict eight breaks total? out, I just start, I cover eight my total. head and just start like rocking back and forth. Oh, and the, no, buddy. The ground moves a little tiny bit and you can feel it. <laughs> yeah, so luckily, uh, him being a toddler as well, an eight is all you needed to barely hit one of his feet and it freezes onto the ground. 
And with that, he'll look at you with a wild look in his eye and a look to the side. And for the first time, all of you glance to the side and see it's an adult lounging in a chair with her eyes closed. And he begins to open his mouth as if to scream. I, uh, I run over, uh, put my hand on his mouth. Okay, make a dexterity check to see if you can do it first. Well, he does oh, that. I'll cast minor illusion. Well, let me see. Oh, nat one. Mm -hmm. Okay, and minor what are you doing at the same time? Pick like kid, kids are laughing in the in the background. Just okay. Fun. The sound of make, kids laughing. Make a charisma check to see how well you can cast a spell <laughs> and while, uh, drown out his noise. While uh, uh, Jonathan five. is curled up in a ball, uh, my bear is gonna kind of stagger over and wrap his arms around him. Oh. <laughs> on, uh, wrap his arms around, uh, around John. Yes, yeah, a nice hug. Yeah, okay. Pick him off the ground. It was five total. Okay. Yeah, so that's not quite enough to completely drown him out. As Lance, you charge forward, the sound of giggling kind of distracts you. It's coming from somewhere, but you don't know where. And mm. the kid opens his mouth and <gasps> screams, Rachel! And at the end, you do get it, your mouth on him, but the damage has been done. Wow. And you she opens her mouth. The adult. What's going on? <laughs> he, he started it. Fast. Strong did it. Okay. Uh, I'd like to. Cast, I'd like to cast my friend's cantrip on him. Um, okay. And uh, so. So he doesn't get a save for that. It's you get advantage on charisma check. So go ahead great. and make a charisma check against him to convince him that he indeed started it. I go, I go uh, a check against that. So Yeah, and it has advantage because you cast friends. Double three, a uh, fucking six. Six total? Mm-hmm. Not good today. Not good. Yeah, well, I mean, again, you're it's toddler versus toddler, so the difficulty isn't super high, but he's not entirely convinced, but he doesn't say anything. He was about to, but he doesn't. And so the only blame that's been placed so far is on him. And the adult comes closer. <laughs> Right, I know all of you are new, but I'm Rachel and I'm in charge, so I don't want any fighting, okay? No, that wasn't me. We it just wanted to make friends and he threw a bull at us. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Don't yep. Stop! Stop uh. crying! Stop crying right now! No, it wasn't me, it was the invisible dragon. He, he did. What, Rachel, Stop. are you licensed? Mm. What are you, you say? Like, are you, uh, what are your credentials? Are you licensed? What? You, we're being very kind to let you in, and you're questioning me? Do you want a time out? No, oh my, no, why, why would you say that? No, please, no, please, no, time out. Please, please. No, come on. I'm I don't sorry. I like on. giving warnings. Sorry, Wait, Rachel. Okay, go ahead and make a charisma check again, Lance, to avoid the timeout. A net one! God! <laughs> oh, no. And with that, uh, you kind of let out a smirk as you're trying to avoid attention, and you realize you did. You put your hand to your own mouth, but it's too late. Um, timeout in the uh, corner. Now! Now! I, I, I solemnly, tears in my eyes, wander over to the corner and, and sit down and stare in the corner. I'm watching. <sighs> and all <sighs> of you, I know where... And she's, she's at this point, she's talking to all the, uh, the, the children, not you, to, you uh, people. But she says, I know these people are strange, but just try and be nice. And if they're mean to you, you tell me. I'll be on my chair. And with that, her eyes begin to flutter shut once again. This isn't good. They already put Lance in solitary. Whatever, he was dumb anyway. No, yes, to be honest, hard. I would usually try and break him out of timeout, but uh, I kind of don't want to, if you know what I mean. Come Look, on, I guys, we have to stick together. Hey, 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 you guys. Hey, you what? guys. My foot is still in the in the in the, the hard water. So why don't you cry about it, cry baby? No, I am not a crier. You gonna cry? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I can see the tears welling up in your eyes already. No. You cry. 
Throw me the ball. No, it's my ball now. Break the water. I'll break the water, but the ball's mine now. No. Make a pers- yeah. make a charisma check, Clover. <laughs> no, just don't break your leg off, pal. Uh, that's a... I think I have plus three, so that's a six? Okay. Yeah, six. Not... You know, it's reasonable, but it's not quite enough to convince this kid. No, it's it's my ball. It's for the game. No. I'll, I'll I'll let you cut the line. Wait, wait, what's the game? Kickball. <gasps> what do you do? You give me the ball and I'll tell you. It's a what trick. Don't tell me to you. Tell me first, and then I'll give you the ball. Cleo's my girlfriend. Who's Cleo? Gross. And he'll point to one of the other girls on the corner who just seems to be taking everything in, not involving herself, seems a little bit aloof. Why would so, you admit that? Can I do like a, a check on the ball to see if it has any sentience? Yes, you can. <laughs> Go ahead and make an intelligence check. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, intelligence. So that is a... That's a five. Hard to tell. It could be. Have your suspicions. Why would you give you this ball back if you're just going to kick it? It did nothing wrong. Because that's the game. I win at the game. I'm really good. That's why I have a girlfriend. Wait, but then why did you throw the ball at me? That wasn't kicking. You threw it. Well... Make another oh. charisma check with advantage, Clover. <laughs> Pickle, will you pass me my book really quick? I rolled a 10! Okay, that's a crit success. I wasn't cheating. Um, You can play. Oh. How are okay. you going to win at the game with a frozen foot, poo poo dummy pants? <gasps> you have a dragon. Do you want to oh, come play with me? No. <gasps> Brutus! Brutus! Bobby, what have you done? And with that, another kid will come walking out. This one, he's showing uh, the classical sign of feralness. His hand is in his mouth and he's sucking on it. This is one of the mean kids, if you've ever seen one. Okay. This he approaches, is... approaches the, the other kid, stands next to him. Yeah. Beat him up. <gasps> okay. Oh, hold on, hold, hold on, on, fellas. Sec. Can't we talk this out? Can't we just talk this out? Huh? I'm sure we could come to some sort of mutual quid pro quo about this, right? This is our chance to show our dominance. We can't back down now. Go but, ahead and make but, an intelligence check, Pickle, to see how well your argument is structured. Uh, seven. Seven. Mm. Okay. They're not attacking yet. Yeah. Look, What's, uh... Um, What's we could show, thing? yeah, we could show some, uh, uh, perhaps that, uh, our team against your team and the winner, uh, gets to, uh, dominate the playground this afternoon. Uh, we're going to have to break Lance out though. Good call, Pickle. Good thinking. Oh, I, I have an extra team member because Hobby has a dragon. That's true. <laughs> she, makes a, she makes a good point. And don't forget about Fuzzy. I have my bear too. It's Teddy. Right. Yeah. So I think that we can field the correct number of players, and and perhaps with a with a nice skillful game, where well, everyone gets to play, and uh, and when and when we win, or maybe if you win, but when we win, uh, we get to you know stroll here in free territory as opposed to being, uh, you know, endangered by your barbaric friends there yeah yeah so brutus the kid that walked up with his hand in his mouth he'll turn to the other kid who's got his ice in the uh, his foot in the ice magnus let's do it (laughs) yeah our team is right here you go over against that wall with your friend and make your team uh okay Uh, we we, we will do that sir (laughs) uh great uh and then I sort of pull everyone to the side. Does anyone know how to play this game don't, of kicking the ball? I don't have an idea. I, I haven't got any notes about it from the previous orphanage, but I do have a note. If this does go south, um, 
he said he had a girlfriend over there named Cleo. Um, from my previous research, if a boy does something physical like throwing or kicking or shoving another female, it means that he fancies her. So him throwing the ball at Clover means that he fancies her and Cleo would not be happy to find that out. That's so if true. things go south, I can expose this information. Oh, Isabel, Isabel, you were the, the bell of the ball, if you might say so myself. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Guys, um, you guys, you guys think a lot. You know, you shouldn't have to think so much. I think we just kick the ball and it'll be okay. Well, may I quickly check and see if it is all right? I don't know if it's all right with being kicked around. Mm. With that, um, we're uh, so as is as Isabel makes her way off to to ask somebody about the rules. We're gonna cut back to Lance real quick. Lance, it feels like an eternity. Your mouth is getting parched. You're getting hungry. You're getting bored. You see a speck of dust blowing across the ground. But oh, you co- you can't look behind you. Gotta look forward. Gotta still in the timeout. Okay, stay focused. Um, and then you hear a voice from up on the wall. Hey. Hey, you. Hey. hey. And you look up to see what is a frog on top of the wall. Oh, I've been in for way too long. I'm starting to hallucinate. No, kid. It's me, the frog. I'm your friend. Okay. Yeah. Listening. Do you think a good friend might be able to get me out of here? Well, that's going to be a little tricky. You mm. might have to figure that out on your own. But if you and your friends get out of here, I happen to know a place that is candy. So, where? It's just outside the orphanage, across the street. Oh, that's, that's a long way to go without... without uh, I think you got a... the stuff. You're Jeez. really smart, aren't you? I think you are. Uh, I am. But that's a very far way to go without a nanny or... And Rosita isn't around. I couldn't. I don't. You think might have that. to convince some of the other kids to help you. Find out what they know. Find a way out. There's I... walls all around, but I'm sure you can figure it out. And what's in it for you? I just want to help you. I'm very friendly. I have too much candy. Mm. Or rather, my friend does, who has the candy outside. He's what is called your the name? Candy Man. What is your I'm name? I'm Mr. Froggy. Mr. Froggy. Pleasure but you to can meet just you, call Froggy. me Froggy. Pleasure to meet you, Froggy. I am Lance. Uh, well, Lance, I'm- go get your friends. Mm. And I can talk to them, or you can tell them, and I'll meet you outside the wall. And with that, he'll hop off the wall on the opposite side, out of view. I stand, I, I begin to kind of look over my shoulder, trying to see if I'm, if it's time for me to get out of timeout. Well, and sure enough, excluding Isabel, the group is approaching you to, to assemble their team. I stay looking at the wall. So whatever we talk about will be with my face in the corner of a wall. Okay. I sort of back up to Lance, but not looking at him, looking in the opposite direction. Psst. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, rich kid. Uh, there's been a gauntlet thrown and, uh, well, we could really use your help if you could, uh, you know, make it up to the, the giant lady and get out of time out. <sighs> How long has it been? Oh, it's been at least four minutes. Oh, so much of my life gone. You hanging in there, buddy? Oh, it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> I reach behind myself I, and give you a little bit of Play-Doh. In I, your- I, I, put, I, I, t- I take it, and, and as, as he reaches back, I, I, I pause just for a moment, uh, having, having uh, human contact for the first time. <laughs> it's just like, I take it, and I just, I just put it in my mouth. Salty. <laughs> You know, one time it's the Abel at our previous orphanage. She had time out for 13 minutes. <sighs> I I don't know if she'll ever be the same. <laughs> Get me out of here, man. Because hey, I've got um I've got some information. 
Oh, well, we would like that too, in addition to any skills that you may have in kicking balls. Oh, yeah. I'm more of a lacrosse. There was a, I've met a, I've met a man. Oh? He <laughs> had information, something that enticed me, something that we could discuss, perhaps that would benefit all of us. And I'm, oh man, I know you're that going there, on five minutes. I know you're, you're really losing it. Uh, I might be, I might be. Sure. Sure. Let, let me see what the others can, can figure out because we really need you. You're you're like two inches taller than everybody else here. <sighs> I'm okay. in the I'm in the I'm in the ninety ninth percentile. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> and I sort of walk up back to everybody else. Oh boy, he's he's struggling. Can we uh can we figure out a way to you know break him out? And with that, we'll we'll just take a quick pause and cut to Isabel as she went to figure out the rules. So, who do you approach, Isabel? <laughs> um, I'd probably approach one of the kids that weren't playing, but the exiled ones. <laughs> okay, yeah, one of the exiled ones. Yeah, there's there's a kid. Um, that there's a uh, there's okay. Make make a per, uh, a wisdom check to see which of these kids might be the most approachable. Not bad, not bad, not terrible, not great. Um, that is a seven. That Yeah, that'll be enough. There's a big kid, like really big, bigger than Brutus even, on the ground mixing some dirt together. He looks dangerous, but also excluded. So, you know, could be high risk, high reward situation there. There's also a girl and she just kind of keeps going over to different areas of the playground talking to something on the ground and then running off and doing the same thing somewhere else. I'm looking for the girl. She interests me. Okay. Yeah. And you approach her and she said, and she's there talking on the ground, making some little hand motions. Uh, yes, Mrs. Uh, uh, mm, cup cup. This is Mr. Mug mug. Say hi. Uh, <sighs> hi. And she's looking at you now, Isabel. Isabel. <laughs> oh, uh, hello. What are you doing Hi. there? This is Mr. Cup, and this is Mr. Mug. And over there, and she's pointing to the another corner, is Sophia. All right. Is this some sort of mind control, or? They're real. They're real. You can't see them, but they're real. I know. I, I completely understand. Some people think I'm insane when I tell them that my bear's alive and the bear will kind of... Oh, he's not alive. alive. They're all real. They are, aren't they? It's finally happening. Isn't the world magic? I'd love to yeah. study Mr. Cup and Mr. Mug and Sophia if you'd allow me to meet her. They're really powerful. Ooh, They're I could just actually... really nice, so they don't beat up people. That's very kind. Do you think they would beat up someone if they were asked nicely? They could. Who? Well, you see, me and my friends, we've got ourselves in a little bit of trouble. The, uh... It's with Cleo, isn't it? She controls the playground. Nobody knows it, but she's the mastermind. She controls her boyfriend? Yeah. And, and she has other boyfriends, kind of. But she doesn't have cooties. I have cooties. She what? said I had cooties. What is this cooties you speak of? I'm infected. Oh god. I've heard the rumors. It's just your lips. It does I can touch you and Mr. Mug and Mr. Cup. I see. Uh she'll like start to scramble and pull out like a a, a red notebook which has like a crudely drawn like plague symbol on the front <laughs> okay. and she'll go to like the file facts part of cooties so it's only a uh, uh, touch base it's not um, uh, saliva I mean contamination it's not through touch just well yeah um, it's really infectious so if one was to touch you on the lips that would transmit the disease yep yep Right. Brutus nearly died from cooties. 
He's better now. How did he get better? Maybe his magic. I need to talk to Brutus. Would you, if we can keep the, the cure a secret, do you think he'd be able to help me out later on in the line? I, I don't know. He's kind of scary. Not with He's Brutus. He's kind of Cleo's boyfriend, but Cleo's boyfriend is Magnus. Brutus is also... <gasps> Does Cleo have cuties? <gasps> Maybe. She might. She probably has cuties. How do we know that you even have cuties? She might have just said that just to make it seem like you had it. <gasps> right. This is all very good information. You see, we're going to be playing a game with that uh, spherical object over there that people seem to kick. I, I feel terrible That's about the it. That's the kickball. The kickball. Yeah, Happy it's game. not alive like Mr. Mug and Mr. Cup are. Or oh, Sophia. Okay, that's good. That's a, that's a weight off my shoulders. Right, well, if our game of kickball goes south, um, I may need to pull in some chemical warfare if you'd be up for that. Make a, make a charisma check at this okay. point. <laughs> Call to action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I got a nine and my oh. charisma is a 16. So that is, so that's a 12 maths yes panda that is correct <laughs> yeah that's the one <laughs> mr cup and mr air uh, mr uh, mr cup and mr mug have bow and arrows they'll help too that's great and what does sophia have in her arsenal she's really nice but she has this power where she can suck you into the the corner <sighs> of the playground from wherever you are Almost like a forced timeout. Yeah. That's horrifying. It's good that you have her as a friend, and I'm very glad that she is a, a kind soul. Yeah. Make, had a, make an intelligence check, Isabel. <laughs> just had a friend who was lost to the timeout. Hopefully we'll be able to get him out soon. Uh, an intelligence, yes. Yeah. Okay, so that is a... That is a... <laughs> Why is math so hard right now? It's a seven. Jesus. Yeah. It's a seven. It, it's because you're a toddler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's just me role playing. Yeah. Let's, you know, method acting here, ladies and gentlemen. Method acting right here. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah. Um, you are picking up a little bit that um, her powers seem to increase. So there's probably baseline level of power that she has, but you're not quite sure if. Uh, everything that she's describing is as powerful as she's saying. I see. Okay, so she's kind of like... It, it, she seems to be adding on to what you say. You, you just barely notice, though. I see. How interesting. <laughs> right, well, I, uh... Sorry, I got she was just, like, shoving all her books back in her bag. I've, um... I was really distracted then. Do you know the, the, uh, the rules of this, uh, war game of kickball? Nope. <laughs> what was your name again? My name's Sophia. Sophia? Wait, I thought your friend Sophia was over there. There's another one. <laughs> I'm Sophia number two. Oh, you're the second one? Yep. Would Sophia number one know the games of kickball? Um, no. Sophia, you have let me down. I am very disappointed. But I will not call it betrayal just yet. I do need your help later on. Okay. You may redeem yourself later. Um, I have business elsewhere. Do continue with Mr. Cup and Mr. Mug. Good day, good day. Um, and tell Sophia I said hi. Okay, and as you go to report back, we'll cut back to uh, Pickle uh, reporting back to the group what he learned from Lance. Oh, guys, uh, Lance is, uh, he's really taking it hard in there. He says he's talked to some man. He says that he has inside information. I don't know. Izzy, Izzy went through something like this before. I'm just worried that, I'm worried that time out is, oh, I can't even imagine. Oh, and I grab my brown paper bag and yeah, right, get, a, get a hold of yourself, Pickle. We'll get him out of this somehow. Okay, Hobby. Uh, hey, hey, you uh, down there, Mr. John, um, do, do you have any way of, of getting people out of time out? Uh, I think he's overreacting. I was in timeout for 
days before. <laughs> what are you talking about, days? Nobody's been timing out for days. You'd be dead. Mm, I thought I was going to die. And then they drug me here, so <laughs> this is better, slightly. Oh, no. Wow, we're working with a with a group that's seen some shit. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, well, um... Well, all I can think of is time out. It has it has a time period, right? It's called time out. So if we could potentially make the giant lady think that time has passed, then perhaps you know it'll be time to release our compatriot. Um, does anyone have some power to do that? What what, what can we come up with, Gag? I wish uh, Izzy were here. She's the smartest. <laughs> we can try and negotiate with her, but I need leverage, something to work with. Oh, that's true. Uh, uh, Clover, you got any cool uh, thoughts here? I think that my thumb is losing its flavor. That's a bad situation to be in. Yeah. Wow. I look at my thumb. We can't, we can't just all fall apart here. We got to. We got to bring it together. Uh, look, I could. I could maybe make her think that the 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 the, the sun's going down. Would that help? Or would that uh, make things worse? We maybe could just go talk to her and and say that, hey, um, we're having a war with the other kids and we need every person we can get. <laughs> That's right. That's a good idea. We need to just explain the situation to her and hope she'll be reasonable. Or maybe, or maybe you could get your dragon to go up to her and be like, what? Whoa, whoa, I don't want to pull out the big guns this early. I mean, you never know what's going to happen later. I guess you're right. right. Wait, what was what was your dragon's name again? It was Strong. Strong? It's on account of his prodigious might. Oh, I see. <laughs> He's very strong. Is he as strong as I am? And I flex my big muscles. Uh, no, and sure enough, way there is actually than a girl, okay? lines on her arms from the flex. <laughs> very strong. Yeah. Wow, Clover, you're so strong. That's weird. You're weird. Well, what? You're weird. Okay, well, you're like what? way weirder than I am. You're weird times infinity plus one, okay? No, but oh, you're you the weird times infinity plus two. You can't do oh. that. You can't do infinity plus Nobody two. Infinity plus one is as high as it goes. Everyone knows that. Everyone knows that, Clover. Nobody's. But what? Yeah, yeah, what? What? Yeah, go, oh, go on. Your your dragon is stupid. I you take that back. Oh, oh, oh take everyone, that back right now. <laughs> I think we're all saying things that we really wish we weren't saying in the situation. So, um, look, I'm going to go try to convince her that it's the shade time with the sun going down. And if that works, we'll do it. If not, we'll use your plan, Hobby. Okay? I'm all worried right, that right. the adult okay. doesn't have any sense of time. Uh, cool. When I ever, you know, ask them to hurry, they. They take forever. And and about this point, Isabel is coming back to the group to report what she learned. Izzy will help us. We're we're stuck here trying to figure out how to get Lance at a at a timeout. I see. Well, I haven't found out how to play the game of kickball, but I have learned its name. That being the name, of course. Um, oh, I have learned sense. that several people here in this uh, orphanage are infected with cuties, so there is to be no touching of the mouth on any of them. We can't trust them all. When will this nightmare end? I thought I, we had escaped the cooties from the last orphanage. There's the a cooties. I'm in the cooties, cooties so I don't have to deal with that. Clover, I will yeah. need to perform further testing on you on a later date. Please do remind me. Um, okay. With the uh, Cleo, apparently she is secretly the one in charge. She is the mastermind behind everything on the playground. It is not her boyfriend we need to worry about, it is her. Not only that, she has multiple boyfriends, and I do think that she herself has cooties, because one of her boyfriends has cooties, and they're probably doing the kissy face, so she probably has cooties as well. What's the kissy face, Isabel? Don't tell him. He can't know. He's, a bit, he's, a bit young. he's not ready. Uh, well, I'll tell you about it when you're older. That's, uh, you're right. I'm only four and three months. That's that's not enough. Okay. Yes, I'll, I'll wait till you're four and five months like I am. 
of course. Um, okay, well, let me go see if I can work some magic on the on the giant lady. I'll I'll be back. I hope. You can do it, Pickle. I believe in you. Dead picture. <laughs> Thank you, Clover. <sighs> and then <laughs> walk away. And with that, yeah, Pickle takes his leave of the group, and we'll we'll go with him, Pickle, here approaching the adult. And it I'm seems... trying to stealth up to her. <laughs> go ahead and make a dexterity check. Yeah. Natural one. Nice. So, <laughs> it's just wheezing noises. Despite her being asleep, <laughs> the sound of the bag of- <laughs> Despite her being asleep, you kind of focus on your feet, take careful steps up to her. You know, wiggling side to side a little bit to help spread the weight, and you end right next to her head. Your breathing at this point is hard. It's right in her ear, and she wakes up. And his hand grips the side of the chair. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you, uh, my, my, and it's, uh, and the, uh, the sun is, and you know it's coming, and, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why did we send you? I can't keep character. Uh, (laughs) Is that Uh, what you say? uh Uh-huh. The 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 uh, the sun, uh, the sun is coming. (laughs) Yeah. Do you not like the sun? Is that something that your race hates? Only like the night. Oh, the night is. Oh, oh, it's scary. But the sun, the sun, it's it's going down tonight. And it's getting scary. Go, go play. Go play. Uh, 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 but what about, uh, what about him? Uh, oh, I forgot about his timeout. Uh, <laughs> Oh, she's coming this way. And I, I and yeah, cower. she's coming towards you guys. And, Have faith. And Pickles Lance, genius. You guys scatter, barely missing her. And Lance, after what feels like an eternity, you hear the rumbling sounds of footfall from an adult and a hand on your head. <laughs> Have you learned your lesson? <laughs> okay. Will you be nice? Uh-huh. Okay. Your timeout is over. <laughs> oh my god! You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and she goes back over to her chair. Uh, at this point, Pickle, you've gone in front of the chair to watch the whole thing, but then you realize you're in her way. Make a dexterity check. Oh no! Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Uh, five. Don't get you yeeted. barely dive out of the way, and your toe uh, gets stepped uh, on her by her. Oh, oh. Uh, but she sits back uh, down, not noticing. Uh, oh, I limp back towards my friends. Oh, hey, you guys, we got our team ready. You sustained a worn wound, pickle. Are you okay oh. to play? I, uh, I think, I think I'll just have to, I'll have to cheer you guys on as much as I can, but, oh, it's good to see you, Lance. It's real good to see you back. Lance, I know we got off on the wrong foot at the start, but for that amount of time in timeout, it's, I have a lot of respect for you, Lance. I was wrong about you. Look, look, fix me. Sorry, go ahead. That's right. Hey, that much time in timeout changes a man. I'm not saying that I'm I'm not saying that I'm right anymore. I still feel like I'm staring at the wall right now. But you know what? I, th- I, th- I think uh I think I think I think I'm different now. I think uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. doesn't Listen. the air just taste cleaner and everything is so much more brighter? You know, I've never been put in time out before until today. And uh, it gets easier. It gets easier, man. Yeah. All right. Hey, no, we're ready. I got the ball. 
Just remember. wait a minute. Okay? We have someone wounded. He gestures to Pickle. <laughs> so I'll, 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 I'm like sort of down there already, like on the ground. So I crawl over to your foot and, and uh, lift your foot up. Uh, let me see if I can do something for you. And do you have a oh. shoe on or anything? Uh, it's uh, more of uh, just a sock. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm going to uh, just I'm breathe. Just pull each of your toes through the sock and make them go pop, pop. Just feel better. Pop. pop. Make oh. make a wisdom check for medicine. You got through stubbing your toe. You can make it through this. It's a low DC. Uh, I got an eight. That's enough. Yeah, pickle. You're starting to feel better. I had oh no my. idea you were a doctor. <sighs> That's very useful to have. We might need you. This, this, this the kickball <laughs> thing could get pretty intense. Where did it you get your medical training? Right. Uh, right. Well, I used since to... I started this whole thing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, you, you Mr. Savior. Uh, it's okay. I, I was just going to say, I, I used to heal myself. I, I'm, the first time I've tried it on someone is is this time. It I knew a guy. I knew a guy back back when I was in. Uh, he was a he was a gang doctor. Got a lot of people with bullet wounds and stuff. He was he was he was smart. What's a bullet? It's comf- It's the thing you throw from a sling. The large oh. creature found in the monster manual. You can look it up, guys. Oh, uh, which I my mother's draw. It's the anybody who wishes a, to know what a bullet is can make an intelligence check. When you take a pebble, <laughs> and when you take a pebble and a slingshot, the kind oh, that can go through. Isn't that just what Hobby just said? I yeah. got the lemon. Oh wow, pickle! Yeah, it's it's either this big creature that you've heard about that's really tough and that's a monster, um, which has a big shell and is very tough, or it's a small rock that you throw in a thing. <clears throat> Whatever bullets you've been dealing with, Mister John, I'm just glad to have you at our service. That's how I feel. <sighs> Jonathan, go, go ahead, Izzy. Would you happen to know the cure for cuties? I've never even heard of that. That sounds awful. Research into a feather. Huh. Indeed. Well, since I'm the one that got us in this mess, I, I reckon I could be the uh, the ambassador, the team captain for these folks, and then you guys, well, we'll just figure it out as we go. I think we're I've supposed got to- got your back, Pickle. All right, All right Let's Pickle. Let's go. Oh, thanks, you know, Clover. Pickle, you know, Pickle, I've got to be honest with you. I had- Absolutely no faith that you could do it, but you proved me wrong. You proved me wrong. Well, Hobby, I I think it was more of a team effort. I mean, Clover's inspiration did give me a little extra, you know, inspiration. Yeah, that's, true. that's true. I'm giving you too much credit. Good point. Yeah, it was all right. me. I did it. Yeah, pretty well, much. I, I, uh, uh-uh. Yeah. Uh-uh. You weren't there. You don't know. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I saw uh-huh. it. Hey, uh-huh. we're still ready. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, All right. I'm, I'm All coming, right. sir. I'm coming. I'm There's coming. Here. From what I've gathered, right just there. keep the ball. Make a line. Okay. Uh, I would like the order to be. Uh, how about uh, Hobby? You lead off because you look like you could scare them, and then we'll follow it up with uh, with you, Lance. Uh, I think you could go second, uh, and then uh, coming in, coming in strong. That'll be uh, Isabel, and then. Uh, Oh, uh, uh, Clover, you go right before me, and then, uh, uh, Dr. John, I know that combat is not your specialty, so, uh, you can bring up the rear. How's that sound? Thank you. Okay. And with that rallying speech, uh, you all gain ten temporary baby hit points. Uh, (laughs) How many hit points do we have? (laughs) Undetermined, so, you know, ten is a lot. (laughs) But... (laughs) But, uh, yeah, as you take, um, you, and you remember where the line was before this all went down. So you go to that place that they seem to be gesturing. I'm still holding the ball. For any adults on looking, it seems to be something of a baseball field. There's uh, three different bases. Um, Mac- Magnus himself sits in the middle waiting for, expectantly for the ball. And you Ritual up on one of the corners. Ritual sacrifice. That's what this place is. Look at the lines drawn in chalk. Yeah, you're gonna die. Give us the ball. No, you're gonna die. You're gonna die first. No, you're gonna die. Your what mom's you? gonna die. Oh, I, I don't have a mom. You don't have a mom either. <sighs> and I cast Vicious Mockery. Hey, mom's already Okay, dead. that's what this is. 
Oh, he got oh, a crit on. success on his save. Right. <laughs> Brutus, get the ball! <laughs> and he approaches you guys. He's taller than any of you. Yeah? What of it? Need the ball to play, stupid. Fine. Clover, you can take that Brutus guy, right? You seem to be pretty athletic. Yeah, of course I can. He's got nothing on me. He's just tall. Look at oh, wow. look at this face, Brutus. Look at his face. Does this look like a man who fucks around? And Brutus has already turned his back to you, walks back to Magnus, and gives him the ball. And with that no sense of what the rules might be or what this game is, Magnus rolls the ball to the first in line, hobby, and the game begins. <laughs> I'd like you all to roll initiative just to see in what order you folks go in. <laughs> this is so tense. It's going to be a D, what, D10 plus dex? Yeah, D10 in this case, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's a nine total. Okay, yeah. I guess I need to actually keep track of this somehow. <laughs> <laughs> you did ask. Okay, so... Seven. <laughs> yeah. I also got a seven. Lance, what did you get? Seven. Oops. Ten. Wow. Big boy. And uh, Pickle. Seven. Okay. Uh, Hobby. Nine. Uh, Isabel. Seven. Okay. Clover. Seven. Okay, lucky number, I guess. John. Uh, John says, do I stand here? And gets a three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Misses a little bit of the action there, but that's okay. Yeah, so um, keeping in mind an order was pre-established, you don't have to take a turn on your turn, but you can. And they're going to go on the eight mark. So first up is Lance. You see him toss the ball. You see Hobby kind of sitting there. He hasn't done anything quite yet. What are you going to do? I'll get up to the plate. Okay, so you're up to the plate. You're in front of Hobby. The ball is coming towards you. Um, and you still have an action. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick the shit out of this ball. <laughs> okay, go ahead and make a strength check. Strength check. Uh, a six. Six, that's respectable. The ball flies to the other side of the court and is picked up by the man on the other side. Um, I it seems to be- I crank this thing? I made contact? Yes, you did. And I launched that motherfucker away? Yeah, you did. And it it felt like it's not super hard, but it did get to the other side. John is like overexcited. He goes, "Yeah!" <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> I, 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 I bat flip and start walking around the bases. Okay, and we'll get to that on your next turn. You've already bat taken your movement your in foot? action. So <laughs> next up is Hobby. Hobby, you've just been robbed of the ball. But what, what are you going to do? With it, they're holding the ball right now. Yeah, the, the guy on the opposite side is holding the ball in the opposite corner from you guys. Okay. I'm going to run it over that guy and try and kick the ball out of his hands. Okay, so that's your movement and your action. Yeah. Go ahead yeah. and make a strength check. <laughs> you know we super know how this game works. <laughs> strength check? <laughs> yeah, go ahead and make a strength check. <laughs> that's a three. It's a three. Yes. Well, let's see what he gets just in case. Okay. Go. Ah, geez. Come on, that one. He also got a three. So it's a contest there. Um, you're trying to kick the ball. He's trying to hold it, but you just barely kick the ball out of his hands and it rolls just five feet to the side. It's right next to both of you. You're not sure if you did what you intended, but at least it's out of his hands. And with that, it's their turn. So uh, the man you just kicked the ball uh, whose hands out of, he's going to say, Cheetah! And he's going to go over to the ball and pick it up, and he's going to throw it towards the start. But let's see how well he does that. I'm not the cheater. It's called he, kickball, not pickball. And with that, he throws oh, it no. very well, and oh, no. it hits you, Lance. You're, you're not sure what that means, but it hit you. Um, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, um. All the, all the kids seem to be very angry at what's going on. They all look at you. Um, Pickle, Izzy, and Clover. You all rolled the same uh, check, so decide who goes first among you. Ugh. <laughs> Go ahead, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll follow you. And she'll just stand at the at the line, and she'll just wait. 
just <laughs> looking around. Like just... So the Izzy's turn is done. Pickle, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to make a minor illusion of I'm going to roll the Play-Doh in my hand and make a ball, <laughs> and then a ball is going to appear on the other 30 feet on the other side of the place. Looks exactly the same as that ball. It's just going to sit there. Okay. And seeing as 30 feet is rather far away in this playground, um, squ- uh, squares for toddlers of combat would be like two feet by two feet. Do you still want to make it that far away? <laughs> uh, let's make it 20 feet instead of 20 30, feet. 40, but, okay, 40. so it's a little distance, but yeah, it's yeah. there. Go ahead and make a, uh, hmm, a charisma check to see how many people you can convince. Died. Yeah, so several of them, uh, you, you, uh, you uh, kind of uh, point yourself. Several of them look over. And yeah, they're confused. Um, Clover, what are you doing? Well, I'll use my movement as well. Oh, you movement to do what? Yeah, I'm gonna run up toward the other ball where it is. To the illusion ball. No, to the to the real ball. To the real I'm ball. Okay. The opposite ball. I'm running. Well, yeah, and it just hit Lance, and it's on the ground next to him. So you're able to go up there and pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Still not uh, sure what's going on though. And uh, <laughs> Clover, what are you doing? <laughs> I look out at everyone. And I look at the where everything's positioned and what everyone was doing. And can I understand what we're supposed to be doing? Go ahead and make an intelligence roll. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh shit. Uh would have been a nine, but I have a minus one, so it's an eight. <laughs> eight. It's decent. It would seem that Maybe. you would need to get to each of these corners sequentially. Um, but you're not exactly sure the role of the ball. Okay, uh, you well, do and, have to kick it at the start, you'd think. But and after then they that, threw you're not it at sure. Lance. Is there was there any reason, or were they just being mean? The uh, oh, uh, to see. Okay, I'll make a wisdom check to insight them and see if they're just being mean or not. <laughs> I made it to first base, though. Mm-hmm. Is I made it to first base. That's also an eight. There eight. ain't no. That's <laughs> enough. Yeah. They're actually mad that somebody has broken the rules. It's not just being mad for mad's sake. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, time out, team meeting, team meeting, please. Don't okay, say time with out. that, we go to John. <laughs> so we we'll get like a flashback of when we were in time out, like, <sighs> <laughs> uh, John doesn't really know what to do. So as soon as he hears a... Uh, 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 Clover say timeout or you know like wait he he will start paying attention to her and um, kind of like slowly walk over. Oh, okay, so he's holding an action. Lance, it's your yeah. turn. I have made it to first base. See, they it threw, would they seem tried, so, yeah. They tried to throw me out, but they're bad at that. Well, and they I'm, did hit you. Well, right, but I made it to the base on ahead of yeah, the throw. You did, you did, so, yeah. So it came a little bit behind, and I, 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 I. I Look at I look at pickle and I I, I hold it I go, I think we're winning. Uh-huh. Win. Uh-huh. Get it together, get it together. Do your inhaler. Actually, give me some of that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Um. Whoa. All right. Wow. 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 Just an old peanut the butter sandwich. The magic air in the pla- in the paper bag seems to be filling you with a new energy. But as I, it I, was your action to quaff that air, are you going to do anything with your movement? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 t- I take I take the ball. Uh, the the people who pitched it are still on the mound, and I right. Yep, it's the guy I on go, the clear other side. Yeah, that is right next and fighting with Hobby. I, I take I take it from pickle. I go, hey, game on, doo doo head, and I throw the ball that way. Okay, yeah, go ahead and make a dexterity check. <laughs> uh, eight. Eight, that's enough. You hit him. And he looks at you angrily, his attention temporarily drawn away from the hobby. <sighs> so it's their turn now. Or no, no, it's not. It's Hobby's turn now. Hobby, yeah. your turn. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what, wait, what just happened? Did we, what did you just do? It's, it's a little confusing. Uh, you ran up, kicked the ball out of his hand. He grabbed the ball, threw it at Lance, and... Uh, Clover said for everybody to stop for, so that you could have a team meeting, but Lance threw the ball back at the guy. You just kicked it away from him and hit him. Oh, wow. Okay, he hit him. <laughs> I like that. Is, so is the ball just like up for anybody to kick right now? Yeah, it's on the ground. No, um, I mean, it's really close to him. You could risk kicking him too, but you may or may not care. 
No, no, I don't care at all. Yeah, I'm going to kick the ball. Where? Just away? Oh, he's hardcore, man. <laughs> yeah, that way. Okay. Go ahead yeah. and make a strength check. Yes, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's an eight. Eight? Yeah, you kick it clear away. Um, do you want to kick it over the wall? Yes. <laughs> okay, and sure enough, it flies over the wall. And all the kids at kickball who were looking at the second ball now look to you with hate in their eyes. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. <laughs> Victory. So, Do we win now? Is that their what happens? Turn, Victory. Half of them are going to go up to Hobby, including the pitcher, Magnus, and Brutus, and they're going to start beating you up. Oh. The other half are going to go chase the illusionary ball. <laughs> I'm going to throw a ray of frost. I'm going to get something in there. <laughs> um, I care. The moment I see that, can I can I do anything? I mean, it's... Um, Isabel and John, you both held your actions, so you're seeing this go down. What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna run over to Hobby and just uh, shout for everyone to stop. And if I can, I'm almost going to like be like, stop. And the big guy... The scary one? Brutus, yeah. Well, but I, there's I, an even bigger one that's an outcast called Crassus. I imagine Crassus is like... He's not participating, but he's there. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Brutus is whoever, participating. Who, Brutus. I'll grab Brutus's shoulder with my mage hand. and But I won't know. I'm just like, wait. <laughs> and it'll <Yeah>. just... And <laughs> just try, try to push and him over? Up. No, just try and stop him. Try and run oh, okay. Run Go up ahead and make a charisma check against oh his strength check. Oh no, okay. Charisma. Six for him. I got a six on the dice, so charisma's first. You, you should have a positive charisma bonus, yeah, so I've you got beat him. Plus two, so that's an eight. So you, with the 10 pound weight limit of mage hand, you successfully restrained another toddler. Congratulations. <laughs> yes. And you are next to Hobby. They're ready to defend him. John, what are you doing with your ready to action? Uh, who was who was getting beat up? It was Hobby, right? Hobby is about to get beat up. Yeah, they're running towards him. Okay, so uh, I'll... Hobby, real quick, make a wisdom check for me to see if you notice something. Okay, all right, I'm doing it. Or no, not Hobby, sorry, I meant John. I said Hobby, I meant John. (laughs) Notice how cool I am. Six. Uh, That'll be enough. Uh, You look over at the adult. This doesn't cost an action or anything, and her eyes are fluttering open. Cool. Hmm. Well, I was thinking I might want to get her attention if they're attacking us at this point. Yeah. Uh, so I think I'll I'll stay where I am and just with thaumaturgy just start crying. <laughs> okay. Like, violence is happening. So like my that, cry is very loud. It is just the cry <sighs> echoes throughout the playground, drowning all all the noise. Hobby, the people that are about to attack you. Um, Brutus was restraining the uh, another three get up to you, raise their fists and hold their ears as this cry pierces the entire playground <laughs> uh wailing and gnashing of teeth one could say the adult is now awake and we're gonna call that out of combat what are you what are you all doing now wow. Beat it. it's the fuzz it's the fuzz beat it <laughs> are they still going to attack hobby or did they stop no they stopped because of the noise is cleo around i uh Cleo is around. Yeah, she is. She oh. was at the first, uh, the second base. That is. And oh, am I want to go see Cleo myself, honestly. Or first, first base. Sorry, baseball is tough. First base. She's at first base. <laughs> Water sports. Really? Water sports. I am D and D. Okay. Uh, <laughs> if you ask it what sports are. <laughs> if if I, have I noticed the teacher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's uh, well. Yeah. Now that the crying has started, well, go ahead and make a, me a wisdom check to see if you notice her. Although, I mean, uh, we're out of combat, so you're going to notice her here in a sec anyway. Yeah. Okay. After a while, the thaumaturgy sort of naturally wears off, so my crying becomes normal leveled, because uh, yeah, yeah. I can't control it in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, if I can get to Cleo, um, if I'm correct, I understand that you run this area. If you don't tell that teacher that your people have started on us, and surrender your reign, I will turn every single here person against you. I know all your little secrets. You and can't lean do that. In. They're all my friends. And she'll lean in really close and she'll go, I know you have cooties. 
Make a charisma check. <laughs> okay. Six. Six. We'll see what she got in her wisdom. Nat one. Yes. <laughs> so you successfully <laughs> intimidate her. And her eyes go wide. In the meantime, you, you in the meanwhile, Lance is running, but most of you are stunned and shocked and paralyzed as the adult is standing up. She's nearest to Hobby and the people there. So she marches over. What's going on? And before you can react with one hand, Hobby, she's grabbed you and one of the other kids. And another hand, she grabs two of the other kids and holds you all up in the air. It's uh, a deathly height. Hobby immediately goes limp. Okay. <laughs> I, I use minor illusion to make it look like Hobby has a black eye. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. So you do that. And sure enough, Hobby looks like he's a black eye. And then he goes limp. And the black eye stays in place where it was. Minor oh, illusion is stationary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. We weren't on the same page. And I, I take it away. Okay. Um, for the sake of role play, you can't take it away. It's still there. <laughs> yeah. How does uh, What are all of you doing? Hobby and Pickle have both done something. Um, I ain't going back. I've got priors. I ain't going back. Yeah, so you're booking it towards the door. Tell them you started it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And Cleo starts making your way towards the adult. Clover and John doing anything in particular? I run over to the adult and start hitting her thigh, and I'm like, put him down! Okay, <laughs> nice. John, anything in particular? John, as soon as the adult came near, he immediately stopped crying. Like, there was just, ah, and then silence from him. And there's just tears dripping down his face. And he's just looking I'm up. I'm worried him. about John. Okay, hey, are you trying to are it. you trying to make it look like you didn't cry at all? No, no, I definitely. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It's too cried. late. She's seen. Let, let me let yeah. me let me spell it out for you, Carl, as someone who had loving parents and a loving family. <laughs> he's being quiet because he's afraid to get beat. <laughs> right. No, no, no. I understand. I just wondered if you wanted to try and do this before the adult was fully awake. <laughs> no, no. I probably didn't even yeah. notice that that they had come over until they were above me, like, you know, six yeah, feet Yeah, and me. almost <laughs> simultaneous with your cutoff of the cry, the adult looks to you, although she then looks down at Clover, who is beating on her leg. Stop it right now! I knew you all were trouble. Um, excuse me, teacher. Go. And that that's Cleo. Um, it was uh, Magnus's fault. <laughs> and the adult is going to look at her with disbelief. Really? Yeah. Cleo, no! Yeah, it was his fault. Oh. I'll point at Magnus, too. I'll point. <gasps> okay. Everybody go ahead and make a group charisma check. <laughs> there. 12. I crit. Nat Natural 10. Oh, two crits. So mine's a 13. Yeah. Okay. Daddy 10. 10. 12. 12, John. <laughs> we have too much charisma. Yeah. But John got uh, dirty 10. Dirty 10. Isabel, Isabel? Dirty 10. Yeah, at this point it doesn't even matter. But Lance, what did you get? <laughs> a seven. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I mean, it makes we sense because you're booking it. Children. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, with these outstanding <laughs> roles... The teacher looks at Magnus, who is in the other hand from Hobby. Puts down Hobby, puts down the other toddler. <gasps> Magnus! I didn't mean it! Magnus! I didn't mean it. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> and she puts her hand on his mouth so he can't scream anymore. The silence is deafening as everybody just watches as she goes to the same corner that Lance was previously at and puts Lance down. Right. Danger has been averted. I like Hobby. all right. the people are yeah. with my hands on his shoulders. Are you okay? He got you in a pretty intense death grip there. I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I did the I did the limp defense. Okay. Okay. <laughs> cool. You're good. I, I I'll give him a hug and I'm like okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm okay. Um, pickle. See? Um, you happen to notice there's three kids yeah. looking in the air. And they're asking each other, is that your imaginary friend or my imaginary friend? As they're looking at the stationary black eye in the air. Uh, I, uh, 
I will take the Play-Doh and I will crumble it in my hand and it sort of poofs away. But yeah. right when that happens, I notice Clover hugging Hobby and then my face just drops. I go, I, I go over to Clover as well and I as I see her, I go, what are you doing? What is that? I, I was I was giving you, him a hug. I was making sure he was what? okay. You don't have cooties, right? I'm just making sure. No, I'm a Amanda what? cooties. What? A what? What? That's a thing. Mm-hmm. A what? Speaking of, is everyone oh, oh. around? Uh, yeah, everybody's gathered up at this point. Lance, you kind of see that the danger is averted. Also, you notice that the door to the building is locked. Um, but <laughs> as you're making your way back, you see the frog on the wall. And he's just making eyes at you. And his eyes kind of shift over to your your group of tiefling making, friends. Making eyes at me? <laughs> All right. So, no, just, no, okay, just, not not I, in a sexual way. No, just, just like, remember just, what we talked yeah. about, sort of. Why would, you, why would you assume that a frog would be hitting on a, a tiefling toddler? I, this is, why would this you is assume that? Uh, because he was the most pedophilic frog I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, so as I as I wander back, I, I, I go over to the group, and I want to establish between Clover and Hobby, before I address this the, the, the frog in the room, uh, I very deliberately, very deliberately say, what are you doing to him? What is that? I was giving him a hug. That's word, that word, what does that mean? Is it you, it's a hug to make sure that everything's okay. It's hug. gross, it's icky. A hug. <gasps> I'm gonna Where pull Clover's you? hair and run away. Whoa! Ow! Where did you learn this magic? What What does it do? Uh, it makes you feel better if you got hurt. Where did you learn this magic? Um, well, I had a friend before we came here that was really nice, and um, C taught me how to do it. Hug. Huh. C was Hug. older. C was like. That sounds. You want to? You want to try a hug, Lance? And I'll hold my arms. I, I, well, I don't, I don't know if I don't know if if, if two boys should hug. It's um, perfectly fine for two boys to uh, hug. I hugged a girl. Uh, what? I reach out. I reach out to reach out to John. This this rich boy and and, and the the dude that just totally got dropped. <laughs> just I reach out and I I hug him. So and I, I <laughs> when you hug me, I press my face into your chest and like all the oh. stuff and the. And the oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Are, have, we like, a face print? Are we doing this right? Are we doing this right? I look over at Clover like <laughs> we're only a little less wet than that, but yeah. <laughs> And I, I, I feel the joy of being hugged for the first time. Like, oh no. Oh. oh. I check Fuzzy for snot from when it hugged John earlier. I think he's probably okay at that point. I don't know if I was crying then. <laughs> he's always crying. Uh, it's like even the, the normal kids like around. Yeah, the normal kids are around, but you, you, your group has taken the square and are now the dominant ones in the playground. Yeah, we are. So as, as we look out, like, like all of a sudden we realize we're kings of the hill. <laughs> yep. Yeah, everybody, like, they got little small groups at most, but most people are hanging out by themselves now and kind of giving you sideways glances. They look over at Magnus a lot as well, who is sobbing. I stand proudly on the pitcher's mound, just like. <laughs> so, and then uh, also kind of massaging my hair because my head hurts. Once once this is established, and, and I, does Hobby stop? inside the square yeah well hobby ran away right how f- you know it's there's not very far yeah yeah not very far he, he probably came back yeah just you yeah, know it's yeah. what you do after you pull a girl's hair you have to run away i don't make eye contact with him i'm embarrassed and i don't know what to say about it um and but to everybody else i say um okay so when i was in there i saw some things and heard some things i don't know if you know this but uh but I, I like I like lift up I lift up my lip and there's like the clear fucking uh, uh, signs of sugar abuse just like all along my teeth and my gums. <laughs> uh, I can show you what I that looks like. Yeah, God, exactly. man. Yeah, it's like. Whoa. But you know what? I'm. It's too much. But I I I think there's someone across the street. Outside of these walls. What do you mean? That. A frog told me. I met a frog. Yes, Lance. Let's spread our reign across the kingdom. He met, I met a, you met I a met talking a, frog. I did. I did. He was okay, quite well, that, 
makes that sense. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah, no, it checks out. Everybody's cool with that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so this talking frog told me that just outside the walls, there's a candy shop. <gasps> a candy shop. I what is that? It. Listen, have you ever had candy before, John? N no. Have you ever had... Um, what's the tastiest thing that you ever ate? <laughs> we got fresh bread once. Uh, Better than... Lance, we've got a good thing going for us here. Do you know what, what would happen to this orphanage if candy hit this place? I'm just saying there's a market and there's a demand. We could be the suppliers. No, look we at could... this place. Look, to the outsider, it may seem perfectly under control. Kids do their chores. They go down for night-night at their bedtimes. Even when they play, they follow the rules, except Madness throwing a kickball because Magnus is blatantly a dummy. But people like us, you and me, we know mm -hmm. the truth. This mm -hmm. orphanage is a zit waiting to burst. The tension mm -hmm. is palpable. The candy man cometh. And when that sugar flows through the veins of these children, they'll reveal themselves for the animals they really are. These children will tear each other to pieces and for what, a handful of sweets? A fleeting rush to distract themselves from the stench of their poopy pants? No, I've seen it happen too many times. I can't invite the evils of candy to this place. But if we do... We spike we... it with cooties. <gasps> And then we rule this place. What are you saying? Candy. Candy's Everyone sacred. will die. No one can what? give up the idea of candy. If we spice the candy with cooties, we won't have to kiss, well, have to get anyone to kiss anyone else. And then wait, 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 wait. Get a hold of yourself. Guys, what if we just eat the candy? Look, the candy oh. is delicious. There is a lot of candy there. Think of how much we could get done. I wouldn't have to I sleep for weeks. I would never go nappies ever <gasps> again. Oh, so you're not so, fully in big boy pants yet? Well, actually, during during hobby speech, I think I actually peed a little because I was really excited by what he was saying. Um, but do you, do you want me to go get someone? Yeah, I have. Um, I, I I usually have a fresh pair of pants packed for pickle just in case. Let me give you those, and then I'll get yeah. each. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and so as she walks away, I go. Did she just say cooties infected candy? Kind of and with that, you guys hear a voice on the ground. Don't worry about the cooties, everyone. We all hear the candy's real. And you look what? on the ground and see the frog. I can vouch for it. Holy wow. shit. And there's more <laughs> than you could ever eat. I swing at the frog with my bear. Hey, whoa, 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 And he jumps whoa, whoa. out of the way. <laughs> can I try I and- I trying to hit it. I'm like, was yours weird? <laughs> Can I pick him up with my mage hand and then put him in my real hand? Uh, yes, you can. Won't expect that, yeah. I start to almost go and swing and then I'm like, oh. She starts like pulling its limbs and then like holding it like by an arm and then like trying to write on her like notepad, like taking notes and stuff. Little girl, I heard what you said and it's a perfect plan. All the candy waits for all of you. And with that dangling from its arm, it'll turn around to face the rest of you. <laughs> Each and every one of you. This is Mr. Froggy. Infinite candy. This is Mr. Froggy. He will be the supplier. One. We will be, we will be the transport. And then there will be a handoff. From what I understand, Mr. Froggy has a access to one of the most uh, complete sets of distributors uh, in, in, in this side of downtown. Uh, from... If I understand this correctly, Mr. Froggy, you simply want us to move It'll the product? It'll be up to you to figure out how to get out of here. I can't help you with that. Oh, of course. But well, if you do that up. by tomorrow, I'll be there with the candy man. See you then. And with that plan in place and the game set, we're going to take a 10 minute break. <laughs> when last we left, um, the party had been given a quest by a frog. Candy is across the street with a certain candy man, and it was promised to be an amount equal to infinity plus one, enough to last a lifetime, and maybe even enough to control the entire orphanage. And or, you know, manipulate and destroy, but, you know, we'll get to that later. Evil the obstacle is this. The orphanage must be overcome. They must escape the walls of the orphanage, and they do not yet know how. 
but we'll go back to where we left in the playground after the frog had just left them and they had decided to take on this task. Thank you for the huggies, first and foremost. I appreciate that. And it's actually a very good thing that you keep them with you. It's so nice. Thank you so much. As I pull them on and uh, I come out from behind a tree having and, 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 and struggling with a button that I it's probably just going to remain unbuttoned for the rest of it's probably just leave it. I'll leave it alone. Uh, so I, I think what we could do is go across the street, get some candy, bring it back here, profit. And, and if go ahead, right? This is kind of what I was going to try to get around, but okay, go ahead. Sophia then kisses some. And we give that candy to the giants, and then we rule. And if anyone says otherwise, we give them some cootie candy. I can't support what you're, what you're, what you're, What you're saying here is it's the worst thing that would ever happen to any boy, girl, or, or uh, imaginary friend. It, this could be the worst thing that ever happened, but conversely. But why fear it when we can harness it and use it for our own? I'm terrified of you, and I will follow you wherever you go. You're mad with power. Well, will you follow me to the candy shop then? I will lead you to the candy shop because a frog told me where it is. The question is though, as I look about in this, in this concentration camp for toddlers I, I look about and DM are there any big kids um the oldest kids here would probably be about eight or nine so yeah they're bigger Crassus is the biggest mm. uh, that Isabel has, has seen hmm could I ask about for if there's someone who's never been adopted and maybe doesn't hang out in the play yard but might know a thing or two go ahead and make an intelligence roll for an investigation check a, a three and change so probably not going to do it yeah not very many people are willing to talk to you they kind of avoid you before you get to them mm. the ones that do kind of make an excuse and, and run mm. I, I, I return back to everybody I say if there's a way for us to find a big kid he might be able to open the door for us. And then we could just walk out. Are, could be are there walls surrounding us? Like, yeah, there's walls surrounding the whole play area. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't how, seem to be any easily climbable surface. How tall are they? They are uh, eight feet tall. Ooh, that's steep. Yeah. Hey, Clover, never... you're pretty strong, right? Uh -huh. Also, ju just to clarify, not that you can't use the wall, but the candy shop, the way it was described to Lance, is out the front across the street of the orphanage. Are there any um, windows on the back of the building? Like, there's, like, the door, but then, like... There are only windows on the second story of the building, now that you're looking. Okay. Hmm. What were you saying, Ithy? Well, if we wanted to break down a door, I saw these muscles when you flexed earlier. You're pretty strong. Yeah. I'm thinking if we all push together and work uh, as a, a unit. The, the John adult. kind of like moves a little tiny bit closer and timidly says, uh, if it's not locked, I can just open it. What do you mean? I can just make doors and windows open if they're not locked. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I was right now pounding on my door one day, and they forgot to lock it, and it just opened. What if it is locked, though? It's locked. Then we get a big. Then we use strong your dragon. That's a good point. I know that you're afraid of him, but I'm afraid of him. I'm I sure like that him. if we offer him enough candy, he might decide to help. Hobby, is this true? Can you ask him? I'll, I'll try. I'll see what he can do. But I, first, I we should try John's way. 
I lean over to the nearest person. I say, what's a dragon? Um, is a big flappy with, um, uh, and with fire and, um, it has even cooler than what I was imagining. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's all. Strong, strong breeze ice. Okay, <gasps> oh, ice, awesome. an ice dragon. Yeah. I like strong. Yeah. He's strong. Yeah, he's pretty strong. That's, I, th- I think. That's- I understand. That's a weapon that <laughs> nobody should hold, and I, I. That's very dangerous, and I don't want you to use it. But if we have to, we let's have let's to. see what happens, and I'll, I'll start walking uh, slowly over towards the door. And if there's any children in my direct path, I will walk around them <laughs> purposefully. <Yeah. laughs> So it takes Yeah, me- and wow. there's no need as the ch- the two children that were in your path oh. make way for you. It's Moses in the Red Sea. <clears throat> All right. Uh, as I get up to the doorway, uh, are, there, are there any adults around? I make a quick. Only the one quick. sleeping that okay. had stopped the fight previously, and she's in the yard. Of course, you don't know what lies on the other side of the door. Did All she right, go guys. back to sleeping? Uh, yes, she did. It would and seem anyway. One more question. Is the wall flush with the house? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I raise my hand and I slowly bring it forward and it touches the door just gently, like tap. Mm-hmm. And I cast Thaumaturgy and open the door if it's unlocked. Okay. And with that, your feet slide back as the door swings towards you. Yeah. And you <laughs> go amazing. around. But it's open. <laughs> I think it probably knocks me over. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's slow, so you just kind of slide with it. But when it reaches the end, you, yeah, you sure enough, you fall over. <laughs> I run up to him and I go, John, uh, and I, I, I put, I put, a, I put a hand on his hand. And I go, Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, this was nothing. It's fine. I, 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 I try to pull him to his feet. Yeah, I'll let him pull me up. I dust him off and I go. That was brave. What are you gonna do, Lance? You gonna hug him? Give him a hug. If if I want to hug him, I'll hug him. Hugs are important. Not right. Maybe. No. Can I, not, can I no. try and push Lance into John? You, you can certainly try. Contested <laughs> strength checks. Uncontested strength check. I go in for the hug. Okay. <laughs> oh no! I oh. Knew I knew it. <laughs> I Don't guess I'll let him do it. I'm not going to necessarily hug him back, but like my arms are being held close. <laughs> you have like a hug that is like <laughs> and Lance is the closest one to the entrance. Go ahead and make me a wisdom roll for perception. Oh, baby. Uh, a wisdom. So that's wisdom. I've got a 16 in wisdom, 9 plus 3, 12. Nice. Yeah. You smell food coming from the inside and you look in and of course there's a hallway that goes in, but right off the hallway, there's a door and the, the smell is coming directly from there. It smells like mm. stew. Mm. It smells like poor people food. Like the stuff <laughs> smells that put in a- <laughs> I've never smelled something so good. Mm. Oh, buddy. <laughs> um, I, I peek my head in a little further. And, and just kind of like walk in quietly into this large, incredibly high ceiling. Yeah, it's got to be a thousand feet room. high. Uh, go so ahead big. and make me a dexterity check for stealth. <laughs> Once again, a seven plus three, 10. Finally, second half, he's coming nice. by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing well. You peek around, nobody's seeing you. Super quiet. I mean, you've done this in your house before. You know where to step. There's no rugs, but you hug the edges. You're you're a pro, and you peek into the what appears to be the kitchen. And there's indeed a woman stirring some stew there, and she's singing to herself. She hasn't noticed you yet. Is she pretty? Yeah. Well, I mean, as far as adults go, yeah. Is her song pretty? Yes. Yeah. I have- it is. I go back to the group. I go, I don't know. My heart's racing really fast. I think I, I think I, I, what? I think you what need to it? see this. Uh, it's, a, it, it's a big lady and she's stirring something and it smells good and she's singing and it's pretty and I never want to leave her side and I want her to hold me. There's something wrong with you. I'm going to kind of put my hands on his shoulders and then kind of put my hand on his chest. Just kind of feel his heartbeat. (laughs) 
it is beating faster than normal. You're talking. Well, actually, madness. no. You wouldn't. Uh, do you know? Make a wisdom check. <laughs> Wait, your heart beats. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's, no, that's 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 a ten. <laughs> That's a 10. Okay, yeah. It is. You know exactly what you're looking for, and yeah, it's beating super fast. No, <laughs> Hobby. I mean it. I think I think she might be mom, maybe. Our mom? I don't know. I mean, it, well, some is, kind does, of witch. Does she have horns? No. Well, then it's she's probably not your mom. Also, let's go. We're wasting time here, people. And I, as we, like, as I walk towards the door i like look back at the playground to every kid and i make eye contact <laughs> and just kind of like stare them down until they look away yeah no and they do except for one crassus the big kid he looks at you for a while and he looks away but not with intimidation i kind of before he like looks i'm like i just like nod i'm just like yeah, yeah. and he continues playing with the mud and and splashing it onto his belly and watching it drip down as uh, we walk, uh, Izzy will just tell Lance about how he could be having like a heart like issue. Like <laughs> she's like reading like I I read some books um, at the at the previous orphanage. They had a lot on anatomy. This heart give it racing to me thing. Is it, give it to me straight. Is it an owie that can be kissed or not? It's a big boo boo. <laughs> oh, but it's not cooties, is it? I don't know. This isn't the sign of cuties at all. Unless, <laughs> did you kiss her? No, no, no. I wouldn't dream of it. But it feels like a real big owie. And I don't think it's as bad as a boo-boo, but... Well... Keep an eye on it, maybe? Of course. Uh, I, I imagine Thank candy would help. I've heard that increases it. the heart rate, but at least it might stabilize it. You're Candy very only smart. helps in the short run. I know you've had a sugar problem in the past. <laughs> well, I, the wagon, Lance. I, I need. It's been too hard in here. I spent too much time in the clink. I need just maybe, just one maybe more, you one think for free candy. One. Uh, 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 that's medicine. <laughs> that's medicine. One, one, one more, one more job. That's it. That's all I'm asking. Just one more job. That's all I want. That's all I want. Sure, one more. I'm sure last time it was one more. Next time it'll be one more. She'll look at Hobby and then kind of like nod and then look back at Lance. I will let you have one, but every other candy you'll come in contact with after that, it will be spiced with cuties. So it best be the last one. <laughs> one more job. That's it. And then Just I'm the out. Last one. Yeah. And then I'm out. And then I'm out. Okay. So uh, uh, in this hallway, uh, how how deep is the building? Um, I mean, it's not a huge building. It'd probably be uh, 50 feet to the front door. And you can see the front door. It's a straight shot. It's The house would be wider than it is long. Let's go. It's time. going to hold Pickle's hand and bring him along with me. <laughs> um, we're not here for supper. <laughs> well, then we better be back that, for supper. You do notice that Pickle is has a um, little like daisy in his hand, and he's staring at Clover, and he's just ripping the petals out, looking very <laughs> forlorn, <laughs> tossing Pickle. them. I think it's already dead. Once you've extracted it from the ground and severed it from its uh, roots, I think that killed it. Yeah, well, I think I you dropped like these. To have things die. I pick up the petals, and I'm like, I think you dropped these. Okay. Right, <laughs> I did. Just like you dropped me, and I moved past very quickly. What's going on? Them. Okay, and with that, I need you to all make a stealth dexterity check to get right. down the hall quietly. Right. <laughs> Too emotionally right. complex for I. <laughs> I. <laughs> that is an eleven. Four. Nice. Four I, for pickle. Mine is an eight. Eight for clover. It's an it's a nat one. So I think oh, I just no, okay. think and I just John? am mad about pickle I a, being I a non-natural one. <laughs> oh no. So I Lance, just uh, can we get a dex roll for you? Eggs, you're not sneaky boy. Ten. Okay. 
Let's see. Hmm. I okay. just see hear about Clover dropping pickle, and I'm like, you what? <laughs> so you all make it down the hall with varying degrees of quietness, and you do make it to the front door. But somebody is missing from among you. Isabel. You look back. She's about 10 feet behind. She's been thinking, and now her thought has come to its conclusion. She screams at you all, what? And abruptly puts her hand on her own mouth, realizing her own mistake. Shh. You fool. I try and open the door. <laughs> <laughs> from down the other do- uh, from the other room, it's coming some noises. Uh, Clover, go ahead and make me a strength check to try and open this door. That's a crit. That's a crit? 13. For a total of 13. Oh, jeez. How to do this. Because <laughs> unfortunately, the door. the door is locked. No. But you did crit. I just noticed long. I'm like, wait. <laughs> can, can, I, can I try and freeze the lock? Yeah, yeah. I'll allow that. Go ahead and make a, an attack roll. I need your dragon special Using powers. Charisma. All right. That's a... That's a five. Okay, but that'll be enough. You freeze the lock as uh, as Clover rips it out. The door doesn't open, but the entire handle's been ripped out of its socket, and it just barely cracks open as you've released the mechanism. But as it does, <laughs> what's huh. going on here? It's a, from around the door. Nobody's seen you yet, but they're about oh. to. Uh, I'm gonna what crouch do do? down. Really, I'm gonna crouch down really low and. Uh, instinctively use thaumaturgy to dim all of the lights in the room so it just okay it and it, it is getting to evening time although it is not night do i see that pot? illusion to make it look like that lock has not been broken okay that pot that she was staring earlier if i see anything that's so far this away, isn't the kitchen the kitchen was further back anything that's far away that i can knock over i'm gonna knock over to draw attention okay, away yeah, from and, there, and there's a desk in the hall with a vase on it so it, and yeah, you're knocking it over. Anybody else doing anything in the immediate aftermath? I'm I'm gonna open the door if I can. Okay. Okay. And as you do, you grab the door, and you start to open it. The illusionary knob, of course, staying in place. <laughs> and from around the corner. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What are you all doing? <sighs> And she closes the door. I cast friend. Okay. Okay. What are all you nice children doing? I say, um, there was a man in the back and he, he was wearing a coat and didn't have shoes on. And he was looking at everybody and, and we were trying to go get help, but he's there right now. And he was, he was yelling and he was going, (laughs) (laughs) he did that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, go ahead and make a just, scary. Go ahead and make a uh, make a charisma deception check with advantage because you're being helped. <laughs> so uh, the it was a four to begin and then a seven plus three makes me a ten. Not a natural dirty. ten. Dirty. Okay, and we'll see what an adult gets on her insight. She got a nine. <laughs> There's a man wearing a coat and he was unbuttoning it and it looks and he was making noise. <laughs> He was scared. It was really scary. That's not good. I'm most scared. We'll wait right here. You just got go, go, go find him. We'll wait. We'll wait here. Yes. We're safe. Uh-huh. You wait right here. Right Don't here. leave this place. And uh-huh. you do recognize her as Mary, the principal who agreed to you in the first place. But yeah, and she turns, makes her way down the hall, pff, pff, looks behind her, back at you guys, wondering a little. And continues down the hall. Now's our chance. Go, go. Let's go. Go, go, go. <laughs> yep. That won't keep us stalled for much longer, but let's go. Clover, we'll have to talk about this later. Uh, about what? <laughs> You're dropping pickle. What? what do you mean dropping pickle? I don't even know faster. what that means. Right Shh. now, faster. Let's go. Shh. <laughs> oh, pickle, it's all right. I, I, hold up two fing- I hold up two fingers. I hold up two fingers. What is he doing? Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> With no <Okay>. one knew. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, everybody darts out the door, Clover holding it open with all her might. Although, of course, it's not spring-loaded. She doesn't need to, but she does anyway. And you all dart out. And as the last person is exiting, which is, of course, Clover herself, you hear from the back door clear down. Wait a minute. And you close the door behind you. You're now outside. Freeze it, freeze it, freeze it, freeze it, freeze it, freeze it, freeze it. (laughs) All right, freeze it. All right, all right. Strong freeze it. (laughs) Okay. So cool. Um, roll me a d20, Hobby. All right. <laughs> oh, a d20. Oh, my God. Yeah, big boy. Big boy dice. Hold on. What? Big boy dice. Let's, get, let's get the d20. Out. This is for luck. <laughs> it's in that 20. Oh, my Oh, my God. gosh. Dragon of Peace. Nope. All you have to From do is in believe. In the air, everybody. above Hobby, a jet of, of cold strikes the door from the bottom, sealing the bottom part of the door, going up the side, sealing the side, goes over the top and seals the top of the door too. Um, None of you notice Hobby's hand is extended during this, um, but it happens. And the door is completely sealed shut, even putting ice over the door for good measure. Here, let me... Let me help you with that, and I walk up to Pickle again, and I just I just place my hand against his nose and rub like this. <laughs> oh, oh, he's really allergic to dragons. Yeah, that's bad. But wow, Hobby, wow, I'm impressed. I can see why Clover chose you over me. <laughs> Strong, that was very important. What? This is not the time. We have a mission, and that mission is to, I think, get a bunch of candy to to take over the playground, if I'm tracking much quick. Go! Hobby, can I hold yeah. strong hand? <laughs> okay. okay. I can't handle this, and I start Pickle. marching away. <laughs> Pickle, come back! Okay, and just to you take in the scene around you, <laughs> and just to take in the scene around you, um, you're now outside. Um, right outside the orphanage is a street. There are lots of adults, and even a few big kids with them. Uh, some of the big kids are playing in a, across the street. You don't see a specific candy man, um, but, you know, you'd probably get a better look when you got across the street. Um, the street is, it seems to be one of the main roads in the city. So there are carts going across the street, and lots of them, and people shouting, but they're too loud. You can't understand the words. It's kind of scary, but you've gone this far. I've got so many red flags. <laughs> <laughs> Do any of them have, like, really long coats? <laughs> Um, With no shoes go ahead and make a wisdom perception check. All right, all right. They're making noises. Kind of a true pervert. Are they going? Ha, ha. It's just a two. No, none of them. None of them seem to be wearing long coats. Also, none of them really seem to be paying attention to you. I quickly well, take good. my play-doh and I and I mold it into like a, a log thin, and I make a, a five-foot cube-looking adult <laughs> from my room. <laughs> It's not. It's very crude, but it sort of looks like we have some tall human stick figure near us. <laughs> yeah, <I remember laughs> it looks like a child's drawing of a person. Yeah, it looks like just <laughs> yeah, pickle. Right. Pickle, seeing as you walked a little bit ahead of the group, um, you are now next to the street, and a cart is passing by, and there's mud nearby. Um, as you're trying to mold this clay. You know it's susceptible to water. Go ahead and make me a dexterity save to avoid the mud splashing from one of these carts. Oh, boy. Four. That's a fail. As you're molding this illusion with your little clay man, the mud splashes it. And it's completely ruined. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, Izzy. 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 Pickle, don't run off like that. She's not worth it, Pickle. You said there's, you said there's water. Yep. I got I got splashed. Uh, it ruined my only my oh. only power. Now Clover will never love me. It's okay. She's she's not worth it anyways. She's she's some common. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> hey Carl, oh. thanks. I'm, I'm all set now. We're we're good. Uh, okay, okay, bye, Drew. Her like, like, call Izzy, uh, I, I just want yeah. her to be happy, Izzy. I just want her to be happy. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to freeze an ice cube if I can. 
<laughs> it's okay. okay. It's okay, and pickle. You are freezing okay, mud, you... just to clarify. It was muddy it's fine. water. Fine, it can be it can be mud. I don't mind. Is yeah, the... yeah, and you freeze a portion of it on the street yep. next to the yep. side. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it down the clever's back. Is the mud like moldable <laughs> mud? Um <laughs> looks like uh, kinda. Not very, but somewhat moldable, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll pick it up. M- b- b- Pickle, you can you can try this. You can try this. It's the same sort of thing, and and I'm I'm sure uh, I'm sure Clover will be happy, but she won't be for long because she's missing out. She just doesn't know it yet. You as you gesture over to Clover, she's just like ah! <laughs> 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 the ice cube out. From the- yeah, yeah, unfortunately, I did not do that. due to Clover's onesie, <laughs> which she is wearing, the ice cube does not exit. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and sinks <laughs> gradually down and down and down oh, to the lowest look. point of a onesie. The toes. Oh. The toes. Oh no! All oh. over. It now looks like you wet yourself <gasps> from the back. I look over at Hobby, and I'm like, "Why would you do that, you butthead?" And I cast vicious mockery on him. I didn't do okay, that. go ahead and make a wisdom save, Hobby. See, Pickle, she's not even in big boy pants. The adults are going to get mad at us. Stop, everybody. That's a seven. That's a fail, that is not brother. enough to match the difficulty. So, yeah. So, Hobby, this, this insult Three. pierces your heart, and you go down, and you just start crying, and you can't stop. <laughs> It's the first time any of you have seen Hobby break. <laughs> Did I see you blow a raspberry at him? Did you? Oh. Izzy, I think their romance may be short-lived. It wasn't me. It's, 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 but Pickle, you see, she's not. She's... It wasn't me. It was strong. <laughs> do, I, do I believe him? <laughs> I don't know. Is that a... Uh, go ahead and make either deception or persuasion, Hobby. <laughs> With either one's charisma. So. It's an, let's see, it's a nine. Yeah, and go ahead and roll wisdom against that, Clover. Okay. That's a, a four. What do you want her to believe, Hobby? <laughs> lie or no lie? It wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just say things and they hurt. Are you Okay. And then immediately Pickle's face <laughs> drops again. <laughs> Pickle, it's okay. She's she's not worth it. This is an emotional roller coaster, is he? Listen, all, all, <laughs> all of you. All of you listen. All of you listen. Oh, he's there's got a scarf. Time. There's a time. Yes, I'm I'm putting I'm, I'm slowly putting myself back together. Like, listen, there's a time and there's a place for crying. And there's a time and a place for Whatever you guys are into and doing, oh. and the things you yeah. stop, stop it, stop it right now. We have, we have, <laughs> we have a goal, and that mission. And he's like, you can see he's like fucking fiending a little bit. He's like, that mission is to get candy, and we can put all this stuff aside. We got to cross that street and do it without a grown up. Do you know? Do, is this time to be crying? Maybe. Oh, and, no. and with that speech, right. Lance, you all hear from behind you on the door. Let me out! I like arm class hobby and like pull him up. Right, I know, I know we haven't looked at each other long, but if you all swear that we don't have cooties, we can all hold hands and cross the street. It's the safest way. I've heard it from oh. adults before. Okay, okay, that sounds about right. I understand. All right, I'm ready. And by the I way, I wasn't crying. And hobby. I yeah, I grab Izzy's hand and I reach towards Clover, but she's already taken, so I reach towards Lance. No, I was saying. Okay, never mind. Okay, <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. No, I, I was saying that I grabbed my like hand and also Hoppy's hand. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, okay. <laughs> Things oh. are getting heated up, but yeah. Oh, Don Chachua, as they say. <laughs> Is he gonna see this and just like kick the dirt in the ground? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so with that, we're gonna need to make a few group dexterity checks. So let's all make the first one. Oh god, oh my god, can you imagine getting hit by a car? <laughs> Six. <laughs> so the, the first one, the difficulty is five. So if the average is above five, you're all good. So Ten. four for John. Clover, what'd you get? 
Got this one. many. Nat one. Is Isabella? I got six. Then ten hobby, six pickle, no, ten lance. Or not not sorry, four. eight. Sorry. No. Eight. Okay. Math. Numbers. Math. Four. It's a little but it's a little above five, barely. Math is happening. Math is happening. Is um okay. <laughs> a cart comes careening down the street. Um, Clover, your foot kind of gets stuck in the mud and you're trying to pull it out, but Hobby and Pickle both pull you to safety. <laughs> My hero. We're one I, third I of the way down the street. Me. That was me. <laughs> Thank you, Pickle. I love guys with Pickle. <gasps> I look back at Izzy. <sighs> okay, and with that, let's all make our second dexterity check. <laughs> the DC on this one is six. Just oh, come dear. crying back to me later on. Oh, <laughs> me. Six. Six. Uh, okay, Lance, you got eight. Pickle, Marcus, you got uh, six. six. Hobby, you got seven, actually. Okay, can seven. we be clear? You're not getting I'm six not. or seven or eight. You're getting this many. Okay? <laughs> hey, Izzy got okay. five. Clover, what'd you get? This many. This many. John? I got this many. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this unnatural. time I got a two um, with minus one. So mine was this eight, time it's so John that he kind of gets distracted by the romance that's going on. It's kind of intriguing. So he forgets to hold hands as you all go forward <sighs> on this next part. Who's gonna go back and save him? Me, duh. Okay, go ahead and make a deck save for him. Oh, I shipped oh it so much. Oh my god. <laughs> um, a uh, seven. Okay, that's no. enough. You drag him out of the way as another cart comes past. You're on the final oh. stretch. I, 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 at, 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 as this cart comes whizzing by, I grab and I go, I go, you cool? I think everyone's going to get cooties. I hope not. And I, I go, best friends. And I just shove his hands down and I, 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 I grab and I start walking away. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay, and with that, I need y'all to make the final dexterity check. This one's a little harder. Oh it is God, a oh difficulty God, oh of God. nine. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> Time to die, kids. Nine for Lance, one for Pickle, Hobby. This many. Seven, oh, no. four, Clover. Oh, no. Hold on, let me oh, check what my bonus is. Let me check what my bonus is. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, actually, no, I got this many. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's a nine. Okay, unfortunately, the average was not enough. And before you guys can make it across the street, the horses are nigh on top of you. You do have a split second to react before they trample you. Uh, I'll make it look like a fire in front of the horse. Okay, a stationary fire. <laughs> a stationary fire? <laughs> Just okay. like a little Anybody trick. else doing anything in particular? Is, is there anyone in particular that's looking like they're going to get fire trampled? Eyes. Or is it looks like all of us All are? of you. It's the group. Right. I should be able to reduce their speed if I hit them with the ray of frost. Okay. So you're uh, going to hit the horses with the ray of frost? Yeah. Um, okay, anybody else doing anything? Mage hand oh, push pickle I've... forward out. So Mage pickle forward. forward. He is already the, the uh, having rolled the net one, pickle is already the front most against these horses. So I'm going to push him out the way. Oh, out of the way. It sounded like you're pushing him into the horse. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to do to Clover. Okay, so you're pushing him out of the way. Anybody else? Uh, John just uh, curls up into a ball in the middle of the street and leaves it to luck. I stand <laughs> protectively over as many people as I can. <laughs> okay. Okay. And with that, um, go ahead and roll a charisma check, Pickle, for the effectiveness of your fire against these horses. Five. Okay. They got a nat 20 on perception. <gasps> oh my god. Meaning they see straight through the fire. And because of their nat 20, they see you as well. And <sighs> barely make their way off to the side, splashing you all with mud. Uh, John, however, having rolled up into a ball, your foot gets caught underneath one of the horse's hooves. Just barely, just taking off the bit of the skin. It's like a bicycle accident. And as but boy, as, did it hurt. As soon as I am injured, do I take any damage? I mean, no. Uh, no. Your temporary hit points from hobbies earlier uh, oh, speeches okay. are now gone. As soon as I take any <laughs> amount of damage and like, am hurt. Uh, yeah, I you're start, physically hurt, I though. start crying slightly, uh, but the ground starts shaking like pretty badly at this point uh, all around us. And, and if there's any like street lights or shop windows, they open and all the, the, the lights start blinking on and off in the area. <laughs> God. Yeah, and with that, 
people start to look around, confused, look at you guys, but they're not ta- paying as much atten- attention to you despite your appearance. You're small. So they're looking around, wondering what's going on. People are starting to scatter. What are you all doing? I'm diving by John, and I'm going to go, we're going to get you home. We're going to get you back. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. It's going to be okay. It's John, it's think about bad. candy. Think about candy. Just <laughs> breathe. You're going to get through this. It's going to be okay. And um, There's no more danger of carts, oh, but man. John is still on the ground. She's going to try and put his arm around her. Is he? Oh. Oh. Pickle, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm alone on the other side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the side that you guys had come from, or the, the you've others. been like you be past the horses. You've so. probably been pushed yeah. over, like the fire side. Yeah, <laughs> is he? I'm coming, Jonathan. So you're looking at John's face, and as you say, like think about the candy, and you're you're trying to calm him down. His uh, his eyes uh, were weirdly colored; they were just purely black, uh, and they slowly turned to their normal red. Uh, and he sort of calmed down slowly. Over time, the tremor, the tremors sort of stop after a while. That's pretty cool. <laughs> What's pretty cool? Is he... <laughs> oh, you're right. Pretty cool. How did you get black eyes like that? Because that was pretty neat. I, I don't kind know. Of want that. Like black, like all black. Yeah. Do I have cooties? You no. You didn't know that you did that. No. Pickle My foot wrong. really hurts, guys. My foot really hurts. Do you need me to carry you? No. Uh, he needs he, I, I, no. Listen. Can the dragon needs, carry me? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I want that one. He needs, he needs, as we're, as we're crossing over, we go, it's not yeah. going to be that. He needs someone to hug him. He needs, some, he needs someone to kiss the boo boo. <sighs> and you guys are all covered with mud. Not it. Not it. Squeeze my own leg and hold it up into the air like I'm sitting on my butt. <laughs> Jonathan, I would, but I'm so sorry, but my, my heart, it's it's promised to another. I'm so sorry, Jonathan. And she like slowly like takes his arm off her. <laughs> and lowers him down. He was like, I'm leaving you behind. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, so you sorry. lower him down onto the cobblestone adjacent to the road, holding his leg up pleadingly. I it hurts, guys. Wow. Stay, stay, stay with me, man. Stay with me. He's shaking real bad, guys. He's shaking real bad. <laughs> yeah, I well, think you just gotta kiss the boo boo. Okay. Hobby, Hobby looks scornfully at Isabel. Now, who dropped whom? I didn't drop. I lowered him gently down because I have dropped him. I have worth for the person who my heart is belonging to. <sighs> It's got to be you, Lance. <laughs> it's got to be you. John, 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 stay with me. Stay with me, John. John, stay with me. Stay with uh, me. Don't go towards the light, man. Just stay with me. Stay with me, John. John, okay, okay, he's just okay. Making uh, moaning noises now at this point. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I just, I, 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 t- I take his foot and I just like, I, I wincing the entire way. And I just. <laughs> and you kiss blood, the boo boo <laughs> and mud encases your lips. Oh, poor people. But. There's another feeling, Lance. A feeling in your heart. <laughs> That's not where that you have a friend in the world. You feel One that isn't paid to come hang out with me? Oh. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Lance. I oh, help him do his head. Oh, I wow. I didn't know. Wow. <laughs> One foot. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. That oh, was oh, something oh, like, else. Uh, I hand my golf club uh, over to him as a cane. My one possession in this world. Oh, man. I hope Nicole, you were calling me. What's wrong? Like old man. <laughs> Izzy, I... Uh, yeah, Rick? Is, Izzy, I'm sorry. I just... I think... I think Lance has cooties now. Oh, oh I, wow. I mean, he didn't kiss John on the lips, and even then, John would have to have cooties. Oh. I think we need that's... to do further research on this. If it yeah. could just be any I- lips, Izzy and Pickle both make me intelligence checks to determine whether they do have cooties or not. Six. Um, intelligence. Okay, so that's that's a, that's a four. Um, Pickle, you after Izzy talked to you, you're pretty sure that they don't have cooties. But Izzy, after you make this point that they might not have cooties, you begin to realize that Pickle was right. They definitely have cooties. Oh God! Oh, did I hold hands with either of them? Not since is, the kiss. 
<laughs> Izzy, wait. See, I think you're right. I think, I think that maybe cooties is, it's simply an obstacle in the way of us feeling for each other. And no, no, no. They have cooties. No, Izzy. Izzy. I know the signs. They have cooties. Izzy, come here, Everyone, Izzy. Everyone, leave them and in I the room. I grab road. Izzy's face and I kiss <laughs> her on the mouth. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. <laughs> oh. You guys like each other. Uh, uh, Pickle and Izzy sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, and then the horse in the carriage, and we got the street because we gotta go get Izzy in my car! <laughs> <laughs> if I had cooties... Uh, uh, then, then I'm glad I have cooties, and I have Izzy's cooties, and I those cooties, cooties you like. are my cooties, you and, and our deal. cooties are together, and that's because I have been wrong all along chasing other cooties. I just wanted Izzy's cooties, and why didn't I know that I wanted Izzy's cooties? Oh, <laughs> Izzy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, Pickle, I wanted your cooties too. <laughs> <laughs> You are I lean over, dead I lean to over me. to Hobby and I'm like, I think I've had cooties, cooties, cooties this whole from. time, and that's why I keep trying to find a cure because I didn't want to give you cooties. Oh, Izzy, your cooties could never hurt me. Your cooties <laughs> are quick. We have to leave them behind. We have to leave them behind. We're taking their shares. We're taking their shares. They're sitting on Cobblestone Street. They're sitting on Cobblestone Street, and we're up on like curb just looking at them and <laughs> just like don't, don't, it's, don't. it's raining we're covered in mud like i'm so yeah. sorry oh yeah lance oh. it's you're in shock it's the first time that rhyme hasn't worked it seemed like it would but then they keep kept talking and now you're not sure what to we do we gotta get we gotta get out of here we just Let's leave go. them behind leave That's them behind it. they're not go. Worth it. go 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 the candy can help us or cure come us. on is he our cooties <laughs> need candy too and i pull you up and pull you towards them <laughs> <laughs> I hate oh this. Oh my gosh! So much. I hate all of this. So this is the most emotional I've ever felt in a D and D game in my life. Is this what love feels like? Oh my gosh! <laughs> forever describe love as you know that feeling when you fake being in love in D and D. That's <laughs> so you, you, you That's know it. when you're in love when you're okay with yeah. giving each other cutie. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. If wow. this doesn't feel like D&D so, love, then I don't want it. <laughs> so the four of you in front of Izzy and Pickle, you guys make your way further down into the courtyard um, across the street. If you look back, you'll notice that Izzy and Pickle are holding hands. <gasps> Disgusting. It's but then you worse. also realize that you four are holding hands. The habit seems oh, to have continued oh. across the street. It's oh. different, okay? This oh. is different because oh. we're doing it because of safety, right? And I guess. Right. 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 Exactly. It went hands cut. Like hands it, cut. I like to late. think hands Isabel cut. and Pickle always held hands anyway because they're like they were like besties. But right. now it's like this. Yeah, we crossed. Clover was doing we're that for everyone, and she's like, I don't understand. <laughs> Every, we are Come all hands up. To, be, to, be, to yeah. be clear, we're all hands cupped, but we have fingers laced over here. <laughs> Oh, if, you, if you reach for John's hand, he just grabs you by the wrist like this. <laughs> we stay on point here. We've got to stay on point. We have a limited amount of time before a grown-up breaks through the door. The giant's going to come in. I want two of you, um, excluding Pickle and Izzy because they're distracted, I want two of you to make a wisdom perception check to try and find the frog. I'll do one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go for it. Hmm. It's a seven. Seven and eight. Oh, okay. John. Yeah, you go. John, you do notice the frog. He is on the other side of the cul-de-sac, adjacent to another road. He's on top of a cart with two I horses just, on it. I elbow the person next to me and I point. Is that him? That's the guy. Looks like a frog. And with and as soon as you point him out, John, the frog's head, which was sideways, turns to face all of you. And does a frog like grin? Oh my God, as a player, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I would very this much like to be in this narrative. Everything about this narrative has given me red flags. <laughs> it's so <laughs> worrying. What do we do now? 
I guess Lance, we Lance, he's your friend. Right? What do we do? Well, I mean, it, he's he's as much as my friend as Brian is my dad. It's not. It's, he's a stepdad. Anyway, um, and I, I keep going. I, I go forward. Uh, I walk forward to the front. Okay. Fuck you, Brian. <laughs> You all make your way towards the frog, the crowd having been already dispersed by the previous use of thaumaturgy. And you're unopposed as you get to the frog and look up at the carriage. He smiles again. Hello, everyone. I'm glad you could make it. There's candy for y'all. We just have a short ride to get to the candy man. Hop in the back. Mr. And with that, he'll hop into the cart. It's the cart white. It's the cart white. <laughs> it is not. It is wood. But Are the cart yeah, windows yeah. blacked out? <laughs> there are no windows. It is an open cart. <laughs> is there a mattress in the back of the cart? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> there is not. Uh, oh, look, it is an empty, wooden, open open roof cart. <laughs> sus. This is the most sus cart I've ever this gotten into. Does this seem legit to the rest of you? Yeah, it's probably fine. I'll start boosting people up. In, uh, uh, a long in today. This is just one more. DM, in my experience with yeah. the candy trade, does this seem legit or is this kind of fishy to me? I mean, oh, the so servants please. were always the ones to get the candy at your house and mm. they took a long time to get it, so it must be far away. This is what we got to do. This is the story of how we all got put into a tiefling trafficking ring. <laughs> I... Oh, okay. Wow. Lance, I thought you said that the candy shop was across the street. I, I, it's what he said. I'm, I, I it maybe just meant like another street it's ahead. It's close. We just need a little bit of a ride. Uh, I bid Izzy, and I extend my hand to help her up. I start well, like I, boosting people up into the I, cart. I think yeah. he's already lied to us once. He could be lying to us again, but. Pickle, you're the most intelligent man I know, and the love of my life. And no, wherever you'll go, I'll go. Izzy, sometimes we have to make a hop of faith. <laughs> yeah, cool. Cool. Big of inspiration for you, Pickle. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Inspiration, <laughs> and you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> inspiration, wow. I'll get the fuck out. Hey. And Clover starts to help people up, uh, seeing as she's the strongest. The frog yeah. also helps. He's surprisingly strong. Describe he this to me. <laughs> I, I like do this whole number of like reaching up when I'm like finally at the bottom. First, I look back at I look back at Clover, and then I extend my hand. Just friends, okay? Oh, okay, friends. Yeah. Yeah, but I pull Izzy, you. Up. Izzy, let's go. Of Pickles head. Uh, I'll help pull her up too. Izzy, Izzy, <gasps> we're just friends. You know what you mean to me. That's what you said last time. Just... No, 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 Izzy. I let go of, of uh, Pickle Sam when I get up there, but I was holding, I hold on to Hobby Sam for just a little bit longer. If <laughs> you, see, you see, Izzy, it's just, it's just, we all have to work together. No, no it's fine. We'll talk about this when we get home. It's fine. I'm not going to make a scene. We'll talk about this when we get home. It's fine. Oh, I, oh, I see. Okay. We'll okay. talk about it when we're playing tea, all right? She she does this sometimes. I understand. <laughs> as they as they're talking, already kids. As as they're talking about that, I go, hey, just just from my experience, they never talk about it when they get home. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Are you already right. kids? Because in your case, Lance, they never came home. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no! Uh, I'm sorry, remind wow. me who had the vicious mockery. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, yes, frog, hit the god, hit the goddamn pedal to the metal. Let's go. Got oh no! Uh, 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 and with that, the frog raises a flipper. It's the first time you've noticed a flipper standing up like humanoid. He raises a flipper, and the arm begins to grow bigger until it's the size of one of your arms and has claws at the end. And with that, he picks up the reins, whips him, and the horses take off. And you're kind of jostled in your place, but nobody falls off. Then the frog yeah. turns back to you. Doesn't seem suspicious yet, but it's starting to. His uh, other damn. arm begins to transform. And then his chest begins to grow. And then his, his back flippers and his head. The last thing to transform is into a fully humanoid shape with claws and spikes and a toothy grin. 
he turns to you all. Did I mention how much I hate devils? Demons have it so much better. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Larry, the closet, and I'm here for some easy revenge. I'm not an expert. I want y'all to roll initiative. I'm not an oh. expert, but it doesn't <laughs> seem normal for frogs. Oh my god. This is the first frog I've ever seen. I don't know. This many. I will this, this many. many. Okay, let's type this out. Do we all add out. our decks? Or? This many. <laughs> yeah, add your decks. Uh, five for Lance, five for Pickle. Oh, that many, okay. This many. Bobby. What'd you get? Seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Izzy. Five. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I, yeah, okay. Um, Clover. This many. Eight, okay. And last but not least, John. Oh, absolutely least. I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. So up first <laughs> is the closet. And seeing as, let's see, who would be the first to enter? Clover would definitely be the last, and Pickle helped her up, so he'd be second to last. Izzy, you were the first to get on the cart, and as such, our closest. Oh, no. <laughs> The closet goes up to you, Larry the closet. The closet. <laughs> the closet. Larry the closet. <laughs> grapple the monster you. in my whoosh. Oh, no. No. He's going to try and oh. grapple you, so go ahead and make a strength check. Or oh. no, it is strength or dexterity to evade the grapple. I'll do dex. Uh, okay, stranger that's... danger, stranger danger. That's a six. Unfortunately, that's not enough as he grabs you and begins to lift you up. It is now... Oh, somebody put them in order for me. Thank you. Clover, your turn. <gasps> Not no, properly in order. Kind of in order. Now it's in order. There we are. Be clear, Clover, the cart turn. is moving while this happens. The cart's like... The cart is moving. Okay. Okay. You're on a moving is cart. anyone holding the reins? No. <laughs> um, okay. The wild fight. Tell me, tell me how much of this... Okay. So, is, would it be an action to run up and grab the reins? Uh, no, that'd be your movement. If, okay. Should you do anything with the reins, that would be an action. Okay, so I want to, like, go up and kind of, like, grab Okay, since the cart is moving, just to get to it, this isn't your action, but do make a dexterity check to see if you can keep your balance and get there. Sure. That's a crit. There? It was yeah, you're there. Four, and then it was like... <laughs> <laughs> um, and then on my way over, I'm like, um, I yell at the big, weird-looking dude. Yeah, and he's green still, and he's... He's holding Izzy. Uh, and I'm like, you are a lot cuter as a frog, mister. And I cast Vicious Mockery. Okay, I'll have him make a wisdom save. Oh. See what his wisdom is. And pull up a closet stats. He might have failed. <laughs> oh. And yes, I should have had this pulled up earlier. Unfortunately, does not have a min any minuses. He rolled exactly 11. Damn it. <laughs> so he looks at you and just says, I know you devil magic. And that's the end of your turn. <laughs> uh, with that, oh it is Hobby's turn. <clears throat> well, do you know this? Come on, everyone. Let's kick some ice. And then he's <laughs> going to. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's gonna shoot. He's gonna shoot a ray of frost at him. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and make that attack roll. That is a six. That's a miss, unfortunately. As the cart is jostling around, you hold your hand out to fire. Maybe if it was your dragon, he could hit. But the oh. you don't have enough strength to hold your hand steady, and the the ray of frost goes shooting off, and uh, actually hits a window, uh, and the window shatters. But you're already past it at this point. Okay. Anything else? Uh, not hey. for me. So at that, it's Lance, Pickle, and Izzy. You can decide who goes first. Pickle and Izzy, please. Uh, okay. Pickle and Izzy, you go. Yeah, decide what you're doing. I'll let uh, I'll let I'll let Pickle go first. Okay. okay. Uh, looking at Izzy, and looking at 
the situation and with Clover. Who's in his hands again? Clover? Uh, is is oh, he about already to... getting messed up? Is he is he uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wasn't paying attention. No, I forgot about when you call it the wrong name. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've just been, I've just, I've just been like attacked by this monster, and just, I wasn't paying attention. So... <laughs> is he no? And I will cast minor illusion and make it look like he's a bunch of ants are crawling all over him. Okay, they're yeah. stationary ants, but go yes. ahead and make a charisma check. And yeah, they look really, really just. Just annoying. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and make a charisma check. We'll see what he gets really on his oh. Seven plus two is nine. Yeah, unfortunately, he got a five on his insight check. So unfortunately for him, he believes he's crawling in ants. And, yes. he's, ah! and he begins to pat himself and goes a little back, letting go of Izzy. And the ants stay in place, and he realizes it was a trick and looks up in anger at you, Pickle. But now it's uh, Izzy's turn. Is well, I'll, sco- I'll scoop her up. I'll scoop her up in my movement. I'll just, like, make sure that she's okay. I'll try to shield her a bit. That's all I'll do. Okay, I'll so see. drag her half speed. Sure. You're yeah, 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 yeah. Just the try to. Just, yeah, uh, so- it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> is the cart moving? The cart is moving. I'm going to push him. Okay. Go ahead and make a strength check. Oh no! Okay, it's so with my mage hand. I don't know if that makes any difference. Um. Well, then in that case, make it charisma instead of strength. Okay. 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 Mm, okay. 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 Push these people away with your charm. <laughs> oh no! I mean, it's just speaking from experience. That's a five. Yeah, he rolled uh, a twenty-one. So okay, all right. So, but yeah, we're we fighting push him. This is like epic dragon. <laughs> I go to like, eh, and he just doesn't move. I just like. Yeah, he actually oh. grabs your uh, mage hand with his hand, and he throws it onto the ground. And your mage hand is like writhing on the ground. You, you don't actually feel any pain though, um, but it's visual. Um, next up is Lance. Uh, I look. I look back at John, who's who's resting up on my my small golf club, and I, I go, "I'm sorry." And I just yank it from him, uh, and I just go running like, ah! uh, towards, towards towards him. Uh, and I'd like to swing with that and maybe yeah. try to hit him in the face so he can realize how much of a butt he's being. Yes, yeah, strength or dexterity, your choice. Mm, uh, definitely dex. Oh yeah, I went to lacrosse practice. Uh, that is an eleven. Yeah, that's enough to hit this closet. You whack him in the face, and he careens back, and his head is now off the side of the cart, but his body is still on the cart. But, yeah, yeah you hit him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, let me let me, let me get it. It's like, um... That's what you get for talking to my mom! And... and... <laughs> <laughs> John, your turn. Okay, so John you, just got this. You actually of, were looking yeah. behind and yeah. didn't see any of the frog's transformation. Okay. <laughs> Back after Lance takes your club and for the first oh. time notice a rather grotesque looking frog. Ah, oh God, what? <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to run up to the frog. <laughs> okay. Uh, with my little, well, I guess I'm hobbling. So I hop up to the frog on one yeah. foot. I grab him by the the. I'm going to say the front of his pants, but I don't mean his, you know, his naughty bits. I mean, like, his legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go, uh, get away. I hurt my foot because of you. And then I'm going to knee him in the groin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. That is going to be strength-based, however. It can't be dex-based for oh, that particular I, move. I got a 10. What's the, what's the amount here? Uh, did you, did you crit? Miracle, though? So it'll be a 12. Yeah. A 12? Yeah. Well, that was a crit, though? That was a crit. Okay, (laughs) yeah. You knee him in the crotch, and yeah, yeah, no, and uh, it's it's one of those toddler things where you go to do an epic, but you just end up kind of landing on his crotch, kind of you know the full force of your weight as opposed to your muscle, and he screams, oh, and like begins to push himself away from you, which coincidentally is starting to go off the cart. So now his full upper body is outside the cart. (laughs) <laughs> so now we're back to Clover. <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry, we're back to right. its turn. So yeah, it's going to try and let's see. 
you're kind of grappling it right now, John. Yeah, so it's going to try and break your grapple. Which we're just going to keep the 12 from last time. Um, and he can't play, break your grapple. He rolled an 8, <laughs> so he's still just there squirming. I, I, I turn my head and bite into his leg a little bit. <laughs> hold on. What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, Clover, it's your turn. John, let him go. And I, like, as I say that, I want to pull on the reins and pull him back and, like, try and stop the horses. Okay. Go ahead and make a strength check just for force of the reins. Uh, that is a, I think I put a two in there. Yeah, so a nine. Okay. Unfortunately, that is not enough for adult horses. It was very close, but you pull on the reins and it's just not enough for them to feel it. And they continue to go forward at about the same speed. Let me help me, please. You also I notice, you also notice far ahead of you, um, maybe would take about two or three turns to get there is a, a big, uh, fruit stand that you're headed directly towards. <laughs> <laughs> Always the fruit stand. Oh, Poor yeah. <laughs> that, that, or a, a baby stroller crossing the road. So it wouldn't matter very much. It's a normal pedestrian for you guys. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We yell um, at the baby, yeah. get out of the way. <laughs> so Clover, that's the end of your turn, and we're to Hobby. All right. Hobby was going to do something to the uh, frog devil man, but uh, uh, hearing Clover yell for help, he's going to run up there and try and slow down the horses with, uh, with a ray of frost. Okay. Where where are you aiming on the horses in order to slow they're, them down? Their legs, really. Like, their legs. The way yeah, just trying yeah, to hamper sort of the way thing. they move. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack roll. All right, let's go for it. That is, it's only a five. Okay, and unfortunately, that is not enough. You shoot, but their legs are moving, and it actually goes right in between their legs, and they pass over it. Oh. If only it were your dragon. Uh, with that, we're back to Pickle. We're just going to keep the same order from last turn. So, Pickle, it's your turn. Uh, seeing that he's hanging off the cart, I'll drop my ant thing and I'll <laughs> grab his ankle and I'll just try to, I'm not very strong, but I'm trying to flip him out. Okay, my make a strength ankle. check. Oh, baby. Nine minus one is eight. <laughs> okay. So he also rolled a nine. And Quasits have five strength for a total of <gasps> minus three. <laughs> so you begin to flip him out. <clears throat> and he falls. And at the last minute, his claw sinks into the side of the cart. He's just dangling on by one hand. But you've done most of the work already. Get him off. Get him off. Someone help. Isabel, your turn. Can I use my mage hand again? Yes, you can. I'm going to try and pull his. Can I? Can I? with my hand and the mage hand pull so his hand is too far down for you to pull so oh, you I'll, reach it with the mage hand. I'll use my mage hand okay go ahead and roll that charisma check to mm -hmm. see what the force of the mage hand is he's gonna count that is a nine he rolled an eight and it was strength based yes. meaning he failed yes. so yeah and with that last shove Izzy, your mage hand like goes underneath his fingers, a classic kid move, you've done it before, and you pry off his claws as each one of them comes off and he's hanging on by one finger. His like me, Fosser and... His <laughs> last words as he's hanging on by his last claw. Curse you, sons. Ah! And he falls uh. on the ground right under the wheel and poof! You look back behind the cart and see two severed halves of a closet there on the street. And we're all scarred forever because we're children. <laughs> She's like, that's daughter, see, oh no. Lance, it's your turn. The cart is still going. Wow. That's a boo boo that no kissing will fix. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of like. We're just riding in this car. It's like going towards something. Lance is just sat there, glasses, scarf, just like sipping a drink. Like, well, <laughs> this is two margaritas. Yeah, well, I mean, after his initial 
hit he took a break so you know <laughs> uh, yeah. so, um, uh see seeing that and like no lance not now uh i check on john uh john and and izzy and pickle who are just like dumping this dude off the side of it i see hop i see clover trying to bring uh bring these reins in uh and uh i i start i, I get up and i'm like uh oh, i need an adult i need an adult i need an adult i need an adult <laughs> and I just start okay. that. that's my turn <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, go ahead and make a constitution check to see how much stamina you have to throw your voice to the crowd. Uh, blinking, blink effing poop also says, Drew, you have inspiration. Did I get I inspiration? Have inspiration? Yeah. I thought, I, you do. You I don't remember. I honestly yeah, don't remember this. You might. <laughs> oh, I, I thought Pickle had it for the fucking great. Uh, the, I do the, have one and you have one, yeah. That's yeah. five. five. Thank total. you, Blink, but. Not gonna help. Okay, yeah, no. The the your voice is being drowned out by the sound of the cart, and you know it. Just shrill and 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 crying. Yep. And, and and to the to the people on the street who are like engaging in in like merchant and buying fruit from cars, just like ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You do see. Yeah, you do see a few people look up, Lance, and they promptly look back down. Uh, John, your turn. Okay, so John probably fell on his butt when they knocked that dude off the cart. Uh, he mm -hmm. tumbled backwards and is probably just on his back. So he'll stand up and look around, and I see all this chaos. Uh, and um, hmm, what would John do? Would John help with the cry? Voices? John would cry. <laughs> John would probably just cry, right? Like like Lance. He probably sees Lance crying and, and starts immediately as well. <laughs> maybe yeah, so maybe you know, the sight oh, of Lance. Yeah, crying breaks you. One kid starts crying. All the kids. All start of them crying. Crying. <laughs> Yeah. So I think it's okay to cry. Uh, <laughs> Fortunately, uh, your cry is enhanced by thaumaturgy. Yeah, I was going to say, we all like cry, and then John looks yeah. around, and then it's just... Uh, uh, yeah, and it's it's the worst yet. There's a loud noise. It's high pitch. You didn't think that this high of a pitch could come from a man, albeit a toddler, and several windows shatter in the street as a cart is careening past. The adults are now looking, and they begin to make their way towards, but we're back to Clover. I like take the reins and like kind of wrap them around my hands mm -hmm. um, to try and get more leverage. Yeah. And try and pull again. Go ahead and make a strength check. <laughs> I think I don't think that that's enough. Damn it. It's only a seven. No, that's not enough. The horses still aren't feeling it. It's still pulling from a toddler's arms. Someone, and we're down a hobby. Help me. <laughs> I can't do this alone. Strong. Strong, please help me. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and make another attack roll horse. with advantage. <laughs> That's a 10. Okay, and with that, well, a 13, you hold out really. your hand and another Wait. ring of frost, not from your hand, but from the side of yeah, you. Yeah, it was a crit. It was a natural Yeah! Time. Yeah. It streaks down and hits both horses. There's actually two rays of frost and they freeze the front legs and the horses fall onto their fronts and come careening down and skid to a stop. You're all jostled, um, but you made it. And as you look up from the wreckage hobby, you are a foot in front of the fruit stand. Surely you would have died. Oh, thank you, Strong. <sighs> Thank you, Strong. Uh, he went in. They're starting to gather around. They're hearing the crying. Okay. It's okay. A lot of them are somewhat sympathetic despite their appearance. But there's another sound. It's One. all of us crying. That's the other sound. Well, there's another sound besides that that's distinct enough for you all to notice despite your own crying. An ice cream van? Please be the. Oh. A bat winged humanoid creature lands on the cart and perches at the top. It looks tall of you and looks directly at John. John? Is that you? Dad? I know I'm just an imp, John, but I'm your father. <laughs> I'm sorry I wasn't here earlier. Oh, well, uh, well, you're here now, I guess. These are my <laughs> friends. Hey, <laughs> mister. Hey, hey, 
Hey, I, you. I, you. Yeah. You were really mean to him. You either gonna come in and just s- smile and fly with your wings? I'm so sorry. I've been a terrible father. <laughs> Me, just not an orphan. Well, I mean, yeah. he's, still, he's still gotta live with you guys, cause you know, Nine Hells isn't a place to raise a child. So, Ian Cross, he's not a true orphan. <sighs> John, not nine. <laughs> would you mind if I gave you a hug? <laughs> <laughs> I'll step towards him, I suppose, and put my arms out. Can I have some candy? Uh, yeah, John. I'll get you some candy. <laughs> I'll get all of you candy. candy. It wasn't John, worth it. It wasn't I hug, worth it. I hug Izzy really close. I hold her tight. <laughs> I, 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 run up, I run up there, and I look at John. I go, no, no. John, no. John, no, no, no. No, John, no, no. No. He's lying what? to you. Real, they. If you get left, they don't come back for you. He's not. He's not coming back for you. It's not real. How do you know? I l- I look up at him. Uh, do I think this is a like a winged creature that just came swinging up? Like I don't believe this is a it, this dude's dad. So this this thing. Um, it's humanoid, bat wings. It's your size. And it's got little horns. It looks kind of like you guys. But skinnier and even less human. No. He's a liar. He's lying. He's a liar. Look at me and John. We're the same color. He's a liar. He's lying. John, you're gonna need your friends. I yeah, can't always be there for you. I got contracts to fill. Of course, you know, you could sign one later, but that's not the point. You can't sign one till you till you're 16. But I will try and be there as much as I can, John. I'll get you some candy. By the way, do you consider fruit candy cuz it's right there? <gasps> oh, that's candy. He oh, that really is ridiculous. the devil. Oh, yeah. Are you talking oh, no, about no, 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 the fruit? I don't think my friends like the fruit. Do you know where the candy store is, though? No, but I can find it. I'm really good at this. Lance, I think we should trust him. He said fruits like candy. Fruits almost closer to vegetables. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what he's saying, Lancey Pants. Yeah, Come on. this is ridiculous. Uh, if you really want to prove it to him, you got to bring us some real, some real candy. I'm look. I'm talking Caltails. I'm talking Tootsie Pops. I'm talking mm-hmm. all the all the twisty, turdy oh, taffy. Hey, no goods, Batman. Kiss- <laughs> yeah, Batman. <laughs> if you're really his dad, then you can prove it to us yeah well, i'm not gonna have another one of you that's not a good idea no Ooh. what no what no, I, 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 no, I, how do you mean to prove it tell Let us it. Talk. Tell, 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 yeah thank you um tell us how babies are made i'm gonna go get you some candy <laughs> if you made babies, <laughs> but if you ba- i don't think it's your dad he couldn't even tell no me way. how you made you only he's going to get us candy, well, so maybe if he'll bring his yeah, candy. Well, I mean, I'll take If he gets his candy, who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's pretty. It's pretty even. He said. Hi. At this Hi. point, the cart is surrounded by adults. They're all looking at you. They're kind of wondering what to do. Some of them kind of made motions to help, but upon seeing your father, they stopped. But there's another voice coming through the crowd, and you recognize it. Maybe it's a comforting voice now. Maybe not. Kids! It's Mary. She breaks her way through the crowd. Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Come here, kids. We're going back. Wait, wait, wait. But, but we didn't get our candy. Yeah, yeah we, we've got a few things we have to accomplish. <laughs> So it's like a task we goal. have an appointment, like schedule. <laughs> we can't really leave yet. Gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll get you some candy. And at this point, you do realize what? there are tear uh, signs of crying down her eyes. 
Wait, before we go back to her, people. I grab Javi. Javi, um, here. Oh, I, I wanted to give this to you because you saved us. Stripping in public. <laughs> uh, uh. Disgraceful. Vet your eyes, people. He, he reaches out, he reaches out, and he takes it. Um, yeah. It was, it was strong, it wasn't me. No, Hobby, it was you too. I saw it. All right, he's gonna do it. He's gonna give her a hug. Oh. Well, what did you want? What did you think? He was gonna be a degenerate like you too? We don't care. And I try to kiss her again. <laughs> they go in for the hug, and she does the hug, and she pulls back, and she gives you because she like kind of panics. It's like ah! <laughs> out of wedlock. I look over. I look over. Johnny, go. You want to play? Like, you want to like play some video games or something? It's okay, hobby. I'm immune to cooties. I don't have them. Oh my god, that's right. I forgot about that. I just want to get the candy and get out of here. These people yeah. are weird. Oh, you kids are being so sweet. Let's all hug, says Mary. And she puts her arms around all of you. Oh. And with the sunset descending across the streets of Ethkatla, and the seven of you hugging in a cart, Mary takes you back home as you await the expected visit of John's father with candy. And that's where we're going to end our one shot. Having I lessons. saw a man die today. <laughs> <laughs> his head was Killed broken on the rest of his head. <laughs> oh my god. Ah oh, okay. yes, I want hey, to more experience. Yeah, that's experiments. The there were horses, and the horses were riding, and then we were on the cart, and then there was a guy, <laughs> and he was like, he was like, ah oh, no, and we then we pushed him, and then and then and then he was on the ground, and and um, and then you came, and he was so, a frog. He was such that's a frog. What the weird <laughs> look like now? Yeah. And we're I all learned just talking over each other, trying to tell Mary what happened. These are just society's way of trying to make boys and boys and girls and girls and everyone else just not not kiss each other. That's what I learned. <laughs> it's a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy and, theory that's trying then, to keep us from loving then, each other. Love is the, love. The, is love the, is love. The kid, in the, yard, the kid in the yard was doing a thing, and he was like, he was like, oh. And then we were like coming through, and it's gonna be like a really good time. And then like, oh my god, then my golf club was there, uh -huh. and then. Oh my god, then there was a horse and it hit it hit his foot and we were there. I just and I the guy over Lance's mouth and like shh <laughs> he turns from a frog into a person and I went, No you don't and then I pushed him what? and then he died. Oh, yeah. I killed yeah. him. Then. There was there was there, there was there wasn't even any uh, candy. method actors, guys. I've lost so that that, that dragon that dragon is real. <laughs> there wasn't even any candy. <laughs> And John's uh, father never came back. It's been really fun. Back. Back. He's, He's definitely, definitely not ready to let go. We're not ready to let go. <laughs> All right. It's okay. Maybe we're going to go offline and then it will continue to be toddlers for three yeah. more hours. Yeah, it'll be fine. Tweens, yeah. uh, tiefling tweens or something like that. We'll see. Uh, yes. But, uh, yeah, the one shot is yes. over. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Come back next week at the same time, 6.30 EST to see Pantheon. Me and a few of the other uh, people here are in it. And we've got our other games. Uh, please support us on Patreon. That's the best way. And we'll see y'all later. Thanks and good night. Good night, everybody. Mwah, good night, everybody. Mwah, mwah. Later.